by and once again shocked by the passage of time. Anyways, as always, hope all is well, good heart. Hey everybody! Hey, that was a fun song. That's like a—it sounds like a '90s or like 2000s like club song. So it would probably play at like my school dance in middle school. Uh, <laughs> hello everybody! Hi, welcome to the stream. Uh, Cole is here. Thank you so much for the 38 months. Um, I passage of time doesn't exist, Cole. We're both stuck in this weird purgatory together. We might as well make it a fun time, right? Hello, everybody. Hi. I hope that everyone had a good Monday. It's nice to see everybody here again. Um, I'm going to be uh, playing a, a brand new game uh, that actually looks like dog shit. Um, <laughs> it's it's called uh, Only Up, and it's it's like the new Bennett Foddy style game where it's like I have to make a bunch of like progress, climbing a tower, try to get as far as I can, and if I fall... There's, like, a really high chance I'll just, like, lose all of my progress. So, that's gonna be wild. Uh, Max, take care. Get some, uh, good, good rest! So, I'm about to say good night because it's bedtime for this guy. Clench your butts for this one. Is that, is it gonna be a game that's gonna infuriate me? I watched, like, two minutes of gameplay. Like, sort of half hard. Like, I, I put it up on, like, my second monitor. While someone else was playing it while I was doing, like, work earlier today. And and that's it. I, that's all I know about the game. It looks like shit. I watched Cheebs play some of it. Okay, if Cheebs played it, it's absolutely going to be shit. I can't wait, though. Greg played it for four hours. Oh, God, what a mad lad. Brian Rage Hour tonight. Allegedly, it's a rage game. Again, it's, it's very, like, um, I am bred, uh, getting over it with Bennett Foddy coded style game. I've heard that, uh, you know, nothing's going to be quite as bad as uh, Jump King, so I'm not going to compare it to that. Watch Ludd and Moist play it, and they got tilted? Really? Oh, man. And, and those guys are pretty untiltable. It's your birthday. Hey, happy birthday, Little Red Low Bree. Can we get some happy birthdays there in the chat? Happy freaking birthday. I hope that you're having a great birthday so far. I hope you got to do something really fun. If you got to treat yourself, I hope people treated you really well. That's really nice. Very cool. Let me uh, put myself on camera. There we go. Hi. Hello. Guys, you like my shirt? It was it was weird. I, I you know I was at the store and it was the only shirt there. It was really odd. I don't know why that was a that was a thing. They got they really got to try to restock some other shirts, but. It was the only one on display. It was the only shirt. They only had the Monica shirt. Yeah, that's weird, huh? Really odd. It's not bad, actually, not to spoil anything, but the story the narrator tells throughout can be a little triggering. I don't know why they did that. What? I didn't, I know no, I didn't even know there was lore in the game, so um, I guess we'll handle that as we, uh, I guess, experience that. I'm so sorry to anybody uh, who, yeah, that's really weird that they would do that. Is it, is it, um, is it, like, substance abuse in nature, like, sexual in nature, without, you know, saying anything, like, super heavy triggering, but just, like, categorize it, I guess. Just so we can give, like, a heads up to people. Maybe I'll just, like, turn off the, the audio then, just to have music in the background, since it's just, it's more about, like, my, my gameplay in it, right? Monica, just Monica. The only shirt ever. Almost like only Monica. I've never heard that before, but yeah, maybe. Maybe you're onto something there, Savvy. It's like random throughout, like family trauma. Uh, okay. 
That's really fucking weird. <laughs> it looks like I, I, I know so little about this game except that it is a just you climb upwards type of game. And if you fall, you have to restart progress. That's it. That's all I know about the game. So that the fact that they would have family trauma related shit in there. We will deal with that. Again, we're not baby gloving you guys this year. Um, all of you are adults. If you got to, you know, like dip out, then you got to dip out. It is one of those types of situations. Protect you. A certified trauma moment. Hopefully not. Hopefully it's not anything like too heavy. That's really fucking weird. <laughs> it's, a, it's a rage game. Can you imagine if you were playing like Bennett Foddy or like Jump King and you got to like an NPC that was like high up on the stage and they were just like, I remember the time that my dad ran over my mom with a car. Like that would be like so weird. What, what would the fucking point be of that? Just want to give a heads up. I appreciate that. Thank you. Rage game with a splash of trauma. What a range of emotions. Maybe I'll be too tilted to have it you know, we can skim over it if we if we experience it. I don't know. Um, also, for those of you who don't know, we have uh, new sound alerts. If you haven't looked at your pair of social points, I added two that Brookie recommended that we add. Um... Both of them are, are pretty fun. They're both from uh, Spongebob. So we have the This Guy Stinks sound oh, effect. brother, this guy stinks! <laughs> so that's there. Thank you, Bree, for redeeming that. That was fun. Um, and then we have the Oh Boy 3 a.m. that Patrick does. Oh so. boy, 3 a.m. <laughs> so those are fun. Those are there. Um, so if, I mean, you can use those as you see fit. If we do a... If we do a 3 a.m. stream, uh, people can hit me with that to remind me that uh, it's really late. And then also, uh, yeah, obviously, like playing games like this, you can probably activate some of those to just distract me, make me fall, if that's your thing. I'm not gonna. My goal tonight. <laughs> yeah, like that one. My goal tonight is uh, not to get um, tilted by this game. I've, I've played so many of these types of rage games. I am bred. Getting over it with Benefati. You guys have seen me during Jump King streams. Jump King's the only exception where I'm like, that's the game that will always somehow get under my skin. I think it's just because it's so simplistic. It, this is going to be a zen rage game. This is going to be me conquering this. My emotions don't control me. I control my emotions. That's tonight's goal. It's always 3M and sometimes you're not wrong. For a little more context, the setting is a, fa a favela in Brazil, which gives people more situational awareness. Got it. Thank you for the, the heads up and the backstory a little bit. Yeah, mind over matter. Got to pull up the square breathing exercise. <laughs> I have anxiety breathing exercises, like, in the background of my second monitor while I'm playing this. That would be so funny. Thank you, everybody who's here, by the way. It's nice to see everybody. I hope that you're... Uh, it just, this has been a weird start to the week already. I don't know what, what it is. Maybe it's the long weekend or something. But everyone seems, like, kind of out of it and tired today. Um, so I hope that we're able to just, like, get some fun vibes in. Everyone's able to just chill out, enjoy each other's company, enjoy my ridiculous commentary, whatever ends up happening. Enjoy the weird-ass game that apparently has a deeper lore than I expected a Rage game to have. Five things you can see, four things you can feel. <laughs> a very long Tuesday. Ah, Kia, I'm sorry to hear that. Twilight, what's up? Hello, everybody, by the way. I'm sorry I haven't said hi to everyone. It's so nice to see everyone here. Savvy, Chaotic, Sani, hello, hi, welcome, Bree. Nettles, Sad Waffle Monkey, hello, everybody. Hi, Revenge, Little Red Low Bree again, happy birthday to you. Vintage, Jacob, a whole bunch of people in the Ray. We got, like, a good assortment of people in here tonight. Good to have y'all here. Hello, hi. Um, chat, since this is gonna be a game where I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna need good vibes throughout, apparently. Uh <laughs> not only for the rage, but apparently being emotionally equipped for the lore. Um let's kick it off with a little bit of good news. If you got any good news, would love to hear. It doesn't have to be anything big as long as it's something you're proud of and you would like to share that we can all uh, comfortably enjoy together. Feel free to share that, and uh, people in the chat will be encouraging you, celebrating you, congratulating you, etc. But we'd love to kick off with some good news. Sky, what's up? It's so nice to see you here. Welcome. Hi. Hello, hello. 
Good news, I went on my first date after a breakup and it was really fun. Savvy, that's wonderful to hear. It's hard to get back out there after a breakup, right? Like, I always tell the story of I wasn't ready to date for like a really long time between uh, the girlfriend that I had before Morgan and Morgan. And then when Morgan and I first started seeing each other, we were like, we're not really looking for a relationship. We just sort of want to like vibe and like feel this out. And here we are 15 years later. So you never know. Uh, but congrats on that. Good news. Today was my last day of classes, so I'm going to sleep forever. Let's go, Sad Waffle Monkey. Enjoy. You earn that rest for sure. Treat myself to Spirit Fair. Uh, Spirit Fair, since it's only $8 right now. Vintage, have a great time with that game. It's beautiful. It's such a great game. I really want to pick it up again at some point. It's just... It was really emotional at the time, uh, and I'd forgotten so much of what happened in it, I might need to restart it. Good news, my boyfriend's coming to Texas next week. I'm so excited I missed him so much. Sky, have a great freaking time. Damn. That's great. It's nice to hear that people are getting some uh, some good vibes with other people in. Good news, my local cat cafe has a bunch of kittens, so I'm going to go see them and get some good coffee. Love that for you, Nettles Marie. I love cat cafes. They're such a great freaking idea. Get to hang out with little buddies, weird little guys who are, like, walking around. And you also get to enjoy, like, treats and, like, you know, coffee. Some good bean water. Some good stuff. Good news, my uh, gladiolus flowers. I, I'm so sorry. I don't know flowers very well, so I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Uh, are thriving so far. Two of the new ones I planted this year have sprouted, and all my ones from two summers ago have sprouted too. Hell yeah, that's awesome. Morgan is uh, the plant person between the two of us, which I know is probably weird for some people because I'm the cottagecore girlfriend. She's like the the cool like biker chick girlfriend. Um, but I don't know very much about plants or flowers. She's the one who like raises, like we'll go to Lowe's and she'll pick up like, you know, three new plants and be able to keep those alive for like, three four five years it's wild to watch because i i don't know anything I'm, I'm i was always just taught water plant plant gets bigger sometimes plant just dies um she's someone who's been able to keep together uh, a plant family of sorts in her house are so sweet i miss you yo sky it's always so nice to have you here like genuinely it's so so good i hope that you've been well i hope that you and your boyfriend have a wonderful time hanging out i hope it's a blast um but yeah, I'm I'm so bad. I would probably, if it wasn't for Morgan, and I was in charge of taking care of the plants, I'd probably drown them accidentally, if I'm going to be honest. I It wasn't until she did a bunch of, like, research and got, like, really good with, like, her green thumb um, that I learned that you don't water most plants every single day. That that actually drowns them. I had no idea. Because that's what I was taught growing up, which is probably why they all died. Good news. Uh, huge, monumental, incredible news. After two years of trying to... Uh, trying to get filled with a failed attempt, unanswered phone calls from the court, and months of aimless uh, waiting today. My name change document came in the mail. I'm now legally Cole. Cole, that's amazing, and I'm so glad that we can call you Cole because it's how this community knows you via your username. That's incredible news. Congrats. Happy Pride. That's so wonderful. What a what a great milestone for Pride. Love that. This is not a house plant. It's a, a plant. It's not a plant house. It's a plant home. <laughs> that is something she would say. Um, I have an app to remind me when to water. That's actually so smart. Because succul succulents, you don't water. You water those like once a week, right? It's something weird. It's definitely something I would forget. Mine are lucky if they get watered once a week and they're exotic. Yeah, you know, that that's a big thing is like a lot of these ones that I was taught growing up like, oh, you can't kill a succulent. Like they're impossible to kill. They're so easy to take care of. Apparently, I would just drown one accidentally. So, yeah, the keys and they stay winning. Exactly. I... Uh, are overwatering is related to how often you water, not how much water. So you want to thoroughly water, but not. Got it. Okay. Yeah. See, I didn't know that. I thought that they they both mattered, kind of. I guess. I'm once again, about to be driving home from work, and we'll be entering lurk mode. Yo, uh, Ecto, uh, please be safe. Thank you for being here, though. I got a new glasses prescription. Your boy got astigmatism. I feel that. I got a little bit of that as well. Uh, I'm glad to know how a new prescription and know what to do next uh, to be able to see. I'm, I hope that helps a lot. Wait, even less? Really? Less than once a week with succulents. Wild. I didn't know that. I barely pay attention when she takes care of the plants. I'm just like, I don't know which plant you're taking care of and why you're taking care of it, but I hope that it all goes great. And then I'd look back down to my Steam Deck and play Diablo 4. Uh, you love them too much? Yeah, Twilight, that's my thing. Is I'm like, I think I'm doing okay. And then, like, every, the, the few times Morgan's gone out of town without me, 
she leaves me very detailed instructions on when to take care of the plants because I don't freaking know. The Planta app is so great. I don't even know if uh, Morgan uses an app. She might just use like a task reminder or like an alarm on her phone or something or like the calendar app. Or she might just have it all up in here. She's got a really good memory compared to me. I have good news. I got a scholarship to finish my bachelor's degree. Yo, that's amazing. Congrats. Wow, that's so, so cool. Love that for you. Depending on the time of year, every two to three weeks is when I water them. That's so cool to know. My plants, I water till the water runs out the bottom and then don't water again till dry. While, okay, I don't know any of this shit, so. Reminder, I hardly know. Right, stop, freak! <laughs> I've gotten to the point where I can pick up the pot and know if it needs water. Yeah, that's probably the thing with Morgan, too. Is she's been taking care of plants uh, for so long at this point, and she's so good at it, and she does so much, like, research into her hobbies to get better at this kind of thing. Whereas I'm just like, I'm gonna just try this, and I know I'm gonna suck in the beginning, and then I'll just get better as I continue to get experience, I guess, or I'll give up on it. Um, Morgan actually like puts thought and effort into her hobbies. So she probably is the same way where she can just be like, I can feel how damp the soil is like, so I know or whatever I have to, I know it's pre-programmed. I get it. Listen, neuro spicy to neuro spicy communication. You know how it goes here. I have a wetness sensor for mine because I have a tendency to drown them. You know, she had one of those as well for a while, I'm pretty sure. Um, she had this, like, little, like, bird thing. It looked almost like the Twitter symbol uh, that she bought from, like, a German company, I think. Uh, but it's like a little, it's like a bird that sticks out of one of the pots. And I think you put water in it, and then, like, based on the level you see on the side, maybe that? I don't, I don't know. I'm just making up things at this point, so I sound like I know. But I, I don't know a single thing. She'll probably come into the chat momentarily and correct literally everything I've been saying. I don't have one, but they have little meters to tell you how much water is in the soil. Yeah, yeah, they're cool. I have an outdoor garden. I live in Florida, so my plants get rain every day during the summer. Yeah, I mean, that's the big thing, right? Is um, So as someone who used to live in Florida, it is probably the moistest state in the entire world. Uh, it is so unbelievably humid there all the time. It's like breathing underwater when you go outside during the summer. So, um, th I mean, that that's great for some plants, for sure, but not all of them. So moist, get me out of here. Yeah, it basically feels like someone else's sweat is somehow transferring from, like, their forehead and hair, like, into your, onto your forehead and hair at any given time. Yeah, it's living in a sauna. Yeah, it's so terrible. Um, I'm so glad that I moved out of Florida for a large number of reasons, as you guys probably can... <laughs> assume um but i moved out of there before the current leadership and ownership so i i was there when it still kind of felt like a vacation while i lived there and then i was like it's time to get this northern boy back up to new york you know florida derogatory it's a fucking weird place honestly and i get out so badly believe in me fingers crossed for you listen if i was able to move out of florida when i had like freaking 200 bucks to my bank account i think anyone can get out of there you can do it Florida's not a buy. Yeah, there's a lot of funky things going there. Uh, it feels like 37 uh, Celsius today because of the humidity. I'm dying. That's awful. I'm so sorry, said Waffle Monkey. I don't even know how hot that actually is because I can't convert to Celsius anymore. Uh, I was talking to Morgan uh, like two or three days ago about, wow, I've like lost a lot of my cognitive skills that I picked up when I was younger. I don't know why, but they're just gone from my brain. I don't, I can't access info like that in my brain anymore. I know I learned it. I know it was like a whole unit during like chemistry or something. Literally do not remember how to do that. 98.6 Fahrenheit. That's terrible. I hate that so much. Florida, the escape room. Yeah, the state is basically a giant escape room. You're right. Um, it is a weird, weird, weird place to be. That said, uh, probably the best Cuban food outside of Cuba, by far. The, the, the Cuban sandwiches there, the Cuban restaurants I used to frequent, I have not been able to find anything comparable up here in the north, and it's a bummer about that. Um, that, that said, sad waffle monkey, with the humidity stuff, I get that because being on the east coast, even uh, though I escaped the humidity hell of Florida, I live in New York, and even though it's only warm here maybe like three months out of the year, um, it when it's warm it's east coast warmth so it's very humid and it will be like an 80 degree day so not that bad it will actually be kind of nice out like 78 degrees something like that but then the humidity index will be like 80 percent so it feels like you're just underwater and it feels like you're you might as well be under a, like a wet hot blanket that like a bunch of dogs are under with you but not like fun in a fun way like they're all like doing the like <laughs> and like the dog the hot dog breath is just like 
filling the entire blanket, and it's terrible. Uh, the Hispanic food here is so uh, damn good. Yeah, there's a lot of great Latin um, restaurants down in Florida that are just... Uh, you can't compare. You can't compare up here in the north. I only know because as a nurse, we do everything in Celsius. Uh, th there we go. That's a good, like, perk of the job right there. Good news. Maple, my dog's feeling a lot better after a dental procedure. She has two weeks. She had two weeks ago and is continuing to be her tiny, grumpy little self. Now her teeth won't be a hazard to my, her health any longer. I love that. I, that's so wonderful to hear, Twilight. Love that. Love that. I hope that Maple's recovery is really quick. I hope that uh, she continues to just be her regular self. Uh, minus the pain. That's wonderful. Uh, where I live, it's always humid, so it's bad. Yeah, humidity. I, I have this argument every single year with people where they're like, Brian, you don't want to move to, like, you know, L.A.? Like, you complain about the heat. No, I don't complain about the heat here. I complain about the humidity here. L.A. is a dry heat. I'm okay with that. I used to go vacation in Arizona during the summers to visit my grandma uh, when I was a lot younger. So I'm used to arid heat. I'm used to that. She's recovered so fast and is doing great. Just small and always grumpy. I love when animals are, like, super tiny and then, like, have a huge personality like that. That's my favorite, like, archetype for animals, for sure. Captain Photon, good to see you. Georgia humidity is no joke. Yep. Again, I, I lived right over the border in Jacksonville, so I, I visited Georgia all the time. I get you. Cosmic Jewels, hello. Hi as well. Welcome to the stream. Everybody joining on in. It's nice to see everyone here. I hate humid heat with my entire being. Yeah, it's gross. It really just feels like you're inside someone else's mouth. That's Maple. She's so small, so opinionated. Love that. Atlas, hello. Hi, welcome to the stream. Baby Good Witch, hello. Hi. It's always the little one. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Is like, um, so our neighbors next door have two dogs. And one is like a normal size, like big, like medium dog. Um, and quietest dog on the block. I, I don't even think I've ever heard that dog, like, bark before. But they also own a pug that's, like, maybe the size of, like, this. And it's out in the yard all the time just going... Rup, 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 at everything. Everyone, every... Like, a leaf could move in their backyard. It starts going crazy. House of May, good to see you here. Hello, hi. What a horrid way of describing that. Thanks, streamer. Hey, if I have to think it, you have to know it. I have ADHD. It just comes pouring out without any sort of thought behind it. It's been a while since I've caught a stream. Uh, have I missed a lot? Uh, that's a pretty open-ended question. In what way do you mean? Like, um, adjustments within the community, the games we've played? Because both have definitely changed quite a bit. Inside someone's mouth. So, cur so Kirby. Yeah, big. Yeah, the mouth mode. Mouthful mode. She's a Chihuahua mix. Oh, my God. So Morgan's brother uh, has two Chihuahua mixes. And they are, I, I understand. They're just shaky little loud personalities. Yeah, for sure. I get it. Uh, she's the, legit the size of a small loaf of bread. Love that. Love Chihuahua so much. My parents have one named Gator. <laughs> I feel like once you get the Chihuahua energy in you, um, it's one of two things. Uh, it, it Like a, a Chihuahua mix or purebred Chihuahua will always be the shaky leaf dog that's scared of everything and will sort of do that, like, look over its shoulder while it's running away going rawr, rawr, at you. Like, kind of, like, scared, but, like, it's not actually, like, standing its ground. Or it's the most aggressive dog that thinks it's in a, a dog body that's, like, 20 times the size of what it is. And it'll just pick a fight with everything. It'll pick a fight with a refrigerator, you know? Jerry Green, hello, hi, welcome. Meanest dogs come in uh, snack size. It's so wild. Games mostly? Um, there's been way too many games uh, that I have played to probably even describe to you. There have been a million, um, but if you don't know about it already, we do have a VOD channel over on YouTube where you can watch everything you missed. My best friend has a trial. She's so terrible. Uh, wait, trembly all the time. Yeah, that's... So... Again, Morgan's brother has two chihuahuas, uh, chihuahua mixes, and one is the little one that's, like, you can pick her up, and she's all shaky, and she'll, like, look at you with, like, the teary eyes and be, like, mm, and, like, really just nervous about everything, just constantly shaking. Uh, and then the other one, named Rocky, is a menace. Uh, he's cute, um, but he is, he will, last time we were over, I was hanging out with Rocky, I was like, yo, what's up, Rock? It's been a while. And I was, like, petting his head, and he was happy, and I stopped petting him for a second, and I just sort of had my hand up because I just, like, pulled it away from him, and he just, like, came over and just went, and, like, bit me on my hand, on my fingies. 
And I was like, Rock, come on, man. We're pals. Um, and then he was like barking at me. And I was like, dude, I literally just gave you like 10 minutes of pets. What the hell? I, I don't know if he was like mad I had stopped petting him or what the deal was there. But uh, that just chihuahuas for you. They are turn on a dime. They're uh, walking archetypes. They're really funny. So, yeah. Forgot about the bot channel? All good. Uh, it's there, though, forever and ever. That's so me, not gonna... Yeah, it's you coded You have that Chihuahua energy. I know people who are on both sides of the Chihuahua spectrum, for sure. I posted in the Pets channel, she's a little chicken nugget. I love that! Thank you so much for doing that. I love um, that people get a lot of use out of the Pets channel. It's probably the most commonly typed-in channel on the Discord server. If you guys aren't a part of the Discord, I love it so much. But there are so many great pet moments, and I'm sorry I don't react to all of them, but I do see every pet picture that goes up there. I love getting to see the community pets. Absolutely me coded. <laughs> Always must pet. Yeah, I think it was because I just, like, gave up on petting him, and I got distracted for a moment, like, looked away. My hand was up, and he was like, that looks like a, that looks like a, a hot dog for a dog. It's time to bite it. And he just nipped one of my fingies. It happens. Uh, I don't fault him for it. He's a little guy. Uh, the world is big and scary to him, you know? And that's just, that's, uh, but yeah, he's like super defensive and uh, yips at everything. And he definitely thinks he's a much larger dog. And then his sister is just this tiny little shaky leaf that just like gets nervous about everything. Just like starts having panic attacks. More good news. Uh, I've been going to the gym regularly, putting my health first. I'm so proud of myself. Hell yeah. I, so many people are getting back into exercising in the gym this year, I've noticed. It's been a weird year for mental health. There's been a lot of people out there who have definitely struggled, myself included, with a lot of stuff going on in the world or their lives. Uh, whatever, you know, I, I definitely have had a couple moments where I'm like, this feels kind of like a setback, but, you know, I'll, hopefully I'll be able to push through it. I've been able to mainly, which is really nice. Uh, with the support of a lot of great people and uh, therapy and just like, you know, working on my own inner thoughts and whatever. Um, but I did notice like the other side of it is a lot of people are like starting to use exercise to help mitigate that. And that's been kind of cool to see. Been really neat. If it's right for them, obviously, I hope no one feels pressured to exercise ever, especially not in this community. But it's cool to hear that people get like really happy when they do it. It is like I love the endorphin rush personally. Um what happened? I just got back. Uh, we were just talking about chihuahuas. Uh, so, <laughs> but welcome back, Chaotic. Uh, good news, I'm getting tested for ADHD next week. I hope that that goes well. That's wonderful to hear. Um, I love hearing that people are getting their diagnoses. Diagnos diagnoses? 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 Whatever the word is. Um, I I'm glad that when, when people get diagnosed, um, or at least uh, get a diagnosis test and even if they find out that they don't have what they think they have at least it's something that they're pursuing through like a professional who can help them get then hooked up with like therapy or meds or whatever they might need or it's something that just you can have peace of mind of like oh i'm not just nuts like I, there's this thing going on that is like you know accounts for these symptoms these things that i deal with every day and i can sort of adjust my way around it or just know why why I do the things that i do Jack and Issa, hello, hi, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are uh, just finishing up good news, and we are moving over to tonight's main course, which is going to be, again, uh, if you guys haven't used the Tonight Command, it's a brand new game. A bunch of streamers have played this. It is called Only Up, and it is uh, allegedly designed to be like a rage game. So think getting over it with Bennett Foddy, type of nonsense and a lot of streamers have said that it's actually kind of shit <laughs> so i'm kind of excited to play it some people say it's good some people it looks like crap honestly from what i've seen of it but i also didn't watch very much just so that i didn't have anything ruined so kind of excited to give it a try you guys ready um again my goal tonight is to see if i can get through this in as zen of a mode as possible I'm not going to let a video game tilt me. Come on, I got, I'm got. i a human being with an advanced brain. I can control my emotions. I'm not going to let this game get the better of me. That said, maybe there's going to be some like really funny moments in this. We'll see. So, uh, yeah. All right. Give me one second. Let me get the game booted up. Uh, this is also... It's really weird because this dev allegedly only has this one game. And no one knows who the fuck they are. They just came out of nowhere. Apparently, they're like a, 
I, I guess a Korean dev. And that's about it. That's all I know about him. All right, all right, all right. Pausing the Muzak. Getting the game up. Thank you for everyone's good news. Definitely put me in a really good mood. Good to be here. Good to be hanging out. Thank you, everybody, for vibing. Oh, Atlas, I was lying, by the way. If you have missed uh, the announcement over on the Discord, I pinned something in the announcements channel. Um, so anyone who's getting hit with ads, uh, if you don't have Twitch Turbo, or if you're not a sub here, we are running ads for the very first time in 10 years on the channel. Uh, and the reasoning for that is up as a pinned comment on the announcements in the Discord. What's cool is they keep adding to it, so the end is never the end? Wait, really? Is it, So is this like a, whatever your max height, people are just trying to get to like a maximum height? So, and that's like the bragging rights of it? I thought it was this was like a beatable, especially since you told me there's lore. I feel like there should be like a beatable aspect to it. Okay, what is all this shit? Movement is WSD. Slow walking is left. Slow, wait. I gotta hide my face cam here for a second so you guys can see this. Slow motion. Yeah, Koreans made this for sure. Slow motion. Hold right mouse. What? <laughs> Are we going to be inside someone's mouth? Guys, the prophecy! It's talking about how the humidity in Florida makes it feel like you're inside someone else's mouth. You are slowly inside someone's mouth. That's good. Still hate how loud the Taco Bell ads are? I'm so sorry. Does it make you want Taco Bell, though? I should probably add... There's a... Um, Jordan was using a, a better TTB emote I saw the other night. That is... Uh, it's like an ad break emote uh, so that you guys have something to spam whenever like you're you're seeing ads i think that would be good way too dang no that's a totally different category of emote ao game time yo what's up 72 muses motion but for the mouse or for the mouth true we have a sprint with shift jump is space crouch is control uh camera is c can i not rebind keys this is gonna kind of suck First per why would I need to crouch? First person view is hold C. That sounds like a terrible idea. Camera to center one, camera to the side two. Why would I ever have it on the side? Sounds terrible. Hi, I'm Genesis. What's up? Hello, hi. Glad that I got to show you guys mouth mouth shin. <laughs> Been watching this game a lot. It's really something. Uh, again, like all, my first impressions are it looks like dog shit, and I hope that it kind of is because those make. The funniest content games, in my opinion. Side feels very cursed. Yeah, is that like what would it put me in like a two D like camera, like s from the side? What does that mean? It's not that would be impossible to play if it was not two D. Toasted a bagel, toasted it perfectly. Man, I love the world. What a good way to end the evening. Yo, I want a bagel so bad now that you mentioned that. It's loading, chat. This looks like, oh my god, what the hell. Why was I doing a nice little TikTok dance there in the beginning? Oh, boy. Hey, what can I... Uh, this is me. This person doesn't want to make eye contact. <laughs> who are you? Wait, who are these people? You Are you filming me? They're making a TikTok of me. Oh, slow motion. Boom. You know because it has the TikTok boom sound. Wait, in slow motion, you can't turn your head fast enough. I can see you. Interesting. Okay. It's Ash Ketchum. <laughs> Cream cheese and lox? Damn, you made a whole ass meal. God, I love a bagel. I love bagels. This is my first time viewing it. it this is going to be something, Murray. In case you want an extra layer of difficult. <laughs> oh, don't look up. We need to get to the top. I'm sure we'll make it. I wonder what awaits us there. Is this the TikTok? The unknown is frightening. Is that a TikTok voice? That was like a stock TikTok voice, yeah? There's no emotion in that voice acting. That was like, oh, don't look up. We'll get to the top, yeah? That was, yeah, that was like TTS. All right, so my initial impressions of this game is dog shit is probably, I'm feeling like it's right. It looks kind of nice. 
This is on ultra graphic. It looks like it was made in Unity a little bit. Oh, God. Is the camera off center? Good luck. Hey, we got Korean on here. Bon chance. Wait, is that a Dipper Pines hat? That's a Dipper Pine hat. Is that what I'm wearing? If I could look at my character, I could see, yeah. Is it a Dipper Pine hat? There's a gob, like, weird gremlin head. What? Oh, my God. Yeah, this was made in South Korea. Look at the helmet. It's got a South Korean flag on the back of it. I got a Spaceman helmet. It's kind of neat. I want Dipper Pines hat. I love, um, Gravity Falls. Only up. What the shit, dude? Wait, this is just, wait, this is just the map from Benefati, but, like, pulled apart like an accordion. But we have TTS uh, TikTok voice, guys. Oh my god, hello neighbor. Just surprised that the character has a name? <laughs> Not the hello neighbor. Night mode soon? Oh, because we're in day mode, I get it. Is this a shot from, hello, hi, who are you? Oh, we can parkour. Uh, what are you looking at, little girl? You look like one of the, the character models, like the facial models from one of the Chilla's art horror games we are playing. Where are you looking? What are you looking at? She's not looking at this. This looks like this was ripped from Pulp Fiction fan art. What are you, what are you looking at over there? This random ass graffiti, dude. Korean child Monka W. Oh, God. Why is the sun so bright? Why am I... What? The, start. Over here? Huh? Elevator. Why is there an elevator? Oh my god, what the hell? What's up with the, like, AI-generated art in this? There's reflections, though? They put in the work to code reflections. But then they have AI-generated... Ah, top of the morning, laddie. Power of the sun. Don't go into the light. Ryder, what's up? Hello. Is this running like shit for everyone, by the way? Does it look... Is, is frame rate okay? The story is that the most of these are free assets that are being used. I mean, that that feels about right. We're in-game less than an hour in. Firefly, sounds like someone missed a lot of streams. I'm in I'm in game immediately. Oh my god! What the fuck? I don't think that's how the springs in a bed mattress work. What the hell? Don't bully their NFTs? Is this an NFT art game? I know nothing about this game. It doesn't look too great, to be honest. Frames seem good, though. Okay. Why is it... This kid is... What, this kid's frozen! This is what happens when you fall off the tower, chat. You freeze in place. Your legs break, and then you are rooted to the ground as a plant forever. You just have trash everywhere? That's kind of sad. Okay, slow motion. This is quite the game to look at. It is kind of visually overstimulating, isn't it? I love you, heart. I love you, Morgan. Thank you. Right now, I'm Spider-Man, though. Check this out. Guys, we're going to the Olympics. Where did you say this was based? Brazil? We're Team Brazil? We're Team Brazil in the Olympics, for sure. Uh-oh, I hit an invisible wall. Well, apparently, there's no fall damage. I do like all the stock assets. That's a great touch. That's really nice. All right. I don't know what the point of the elevator is. It says start. Does this count? If I skip these, is this okay? Is this a mouse and keyboard game also, or is this better on controller? Parkour, yeah. Beds are like aids or cheats used to boost you. I give no more advice. Yeah, no no backseating well, or spoiling. Well, let's go. The journey of 10,000 steps but I appreciate the, the insight. first step. I don't think I've ever heard that quote read more terribly. Whoa, the camera is kind of off angle. Okay. Oh, I see. Oh. So this is off to the side. That that that's fucking awful. Who would play it this way? You're if you play it with the off center cam like camera, you're on some kind of list. I know you are. Centered. No, this is way more natural feeling. What the hell? I remember as a child, my parents helped me to walk along the fence. I felt this support. worse than tank. If I fall, my parents will catch me. But now I'm alone and no one will catch me. Does it mean to be an adult? Hey, thanks so much to whoever just donated 1,000 bits to the channel. I appreciated that TTS message you just sent. <laughs> oh, 
god, what is this game? Okay, so I can sprint. This guy is up here playing, uh... This is a screen-addicted zoomer. He's got a TV on playing... Oh, Super Mario Bros! Good choice, except that you're playing your iPad Angry Birds instead, I guess. Okay, Goblin Town. It's a weird name for your town. What? What? <laughs> Is this, this this has to be a troll game, right? This is all intentional, like, that it's this bad, right? This isn't just, like, placeholders. This is, like, they were, like, no, you know, we, we, we can just, like, download a bunch of, like, Unity and, like, assets. And then, like, make a game that we charge, like, a few bucks on Steam for. There's Freddy Mercury! We will rock you. And what? This pig has really good balance. Oh, they even got the nippies in there. The pig nips. My home. <laughs> this is a lot, chat. Okay, well, we're going up. We're only going up. Just go up, forehead. This game looks like shit. <laughs> it's it just... There's a lot happening here. Hello? Are you the family that's gonna always catch me? What in the fucking horror movie is this? This is the horror movie Smile. I don't care how much you love your kid. Um, if your if your kid is is kissing you on the cheek or whispering something in your ear, you as a parent, like as they're they're coming close to tell you, like maybe you put on that expression, like, yeah, I can't, Susie, I can't wait to hear what you have to say to me. I bet it was so exciting. And then as soon as their like head is by your ear, you you go like to a more normal face because that's just what you do. You don't keep the face on. That's that is a thousand yard stare. That is that woman is possessed by some kind of demon. I'm here now. My lurking was constant, but I can now hear the amazing bagel voice speaking. Daybreak. Hello, hi. That's so creepy. Yeah, that is. Of all the stock assets you could choose, this is a really mixed town, by the way. There's a lot of fun, different, multicultural things going on here, which is it's great to see that in a game. Very progressive of them. <laughs> Just so much. Is this supposed to be Farida? I think maybe love is backwards on here. So they just took an, they took some art assets and they flipped it so they couldn't get sued. I said it's six ninety nine. Why is six ninety nine backwards? It looks like it, yeah. <laughs> Stream dropping for anyone else? Uh, I haven't seen anyone else saying that it is. So it might be your internet, bro. Is it paying? Enjoying that we just started, but it's a whole mishmash of uh, Unity assets. Speaking of horror movies, I watched The Black Phone last night. I really liked it. Is that the one with Ethan Hawke in it? Because Morgan and I watched that, and it was fine. I'm glad someone liked it. No drops here. Frame rate's good. What? The game seems laggy, but I think it's just the way the game is. What? Why did that music restart? We were expecting a different movie when we started that, Ecto, to be fair. Like, we thought it was going to be, like, straight-up horror, but it was, like, more of a thriller. Why is the music... Why is the music doing what it's doing? Okay, wait. All right. If I, like, V-Sync... We can't even turn on V-Sync. Awesome. Um, if I, like, lower the graphics, will it run less like shit, do you think? I mean, I love the beautiful stock assets we have here. The uh, the Unity demo that we're playing at the moment. But I something does feel a little off. What is that music from? I don't know. It's probably stock music as well. What's V-Sync anyway? It, it uh, syncs your frames to your monitor, essentially. So that it prevents screen tearing. I don't think the game's optimized well. Got it. It just does it. Ran Wait, random music just starts playing sometimes? There's a current speed run to end is 23 minutes. Wait. Path, but don't be afraid. You can always repeat. You learn from our wait, wait, wait. I can't hear you, TTS voice. <laughs> There's really loud stock music going on. Um, And they don't, they don't have, like, voice volume and music volume. It's just sound volume. Amazing. I'm so glad I spent money on this game. 
It was like eight bucks. So I was like, why not? But like, also, what the what in the shit is happening? Went in anticipating thriller suspense, so I kind of got what I wanted out of it. But also, like, it was just kind of like the lovely bones in another font. Yeah, it was a it, it was a little bit redundant to other thrillers we had seen. I guess is part of it, Ecto. But I'm glad it, it was very stylish. Like it had good cinematography. If you want to read my review on the movie, I uh, put it up on. Wait, I found the trigger point for where the music spawns in. It's just right here. You guys like that first three chords of the song, by the way? I feel like we're gonna hear it a lot. It sounds like a mobile Sometimes cooking game. It's hard to choose the right path, but don't be afraid. You can always repeat. We learn from our mistakes. What? <laughs> Daybreak, I hope you enjoy your time in this uh, interesting place. Am I supposed to climb this? Oh, I can. Okay. Stop! <laughs> Stop! The music's gonna fucking freak me out, dude. TTS voice affirmations. Yeah, it sounds like a um, those AI generated inspirational quotes. Okay. All right. So you can jump around Sometimes corners. It's hard to choose the right path. But don't be afraid. You can always Pop repeat. art. That, that's mistakes. for sure, game. Thank you. That, it's whoever keeps donating bits. Thanks so much. It's been... What the fuck is happening? Where am I going? <laughs> I just, like, glitched through the floor. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> this is this is this is gonna be my version Sometimes of purgatory. It's hard to choose the right <laughs> path, <laughs> but the don't be afraid. Thing. You can always repeat. We learn from our mistakes. <laughs> this is so good. Oh my god! I'm staring. Why is the brightness like that, dude? I'm staring right into the sun, dude. <laughs> Chief's actually glitched through the floor and she had barely started the game. Amazing. I love how well this is coded, clearly. This is hell and we're just your demons. Yeah, apparently. It, it really it restarts every time you jump. Yeah, it's like it saw what Bennett Foddy did with the, like, audio files and then instead... <laughs> Tell me someone's taking a shit up here. This would be amazing. Ah, so peaceful. While this girl <laughs> falls off the roof. Dude, ah, don't worry, little girl. I'll save you. What? <laughs> Why is she doing that? Where are the parents? This kid's on his iPad. He won't even see the... Where'd your sister go? I don't know. She was here a second ago. <laughs> all, all audio is location triggered. Oh, amazing game. All right, well, it's we... It's very hard to make a choice when you don't know where it will lead. Yeah, you're telling me. Where the hell is this? Who built this? This can't be up to code. Also, is that the New York... Is that... Alright, this is kind of fucked up. Is this the New York City skyline pre-9-11? Because that looks like the Twin Towers. In which case, what a fucking asset to choose. Of anything you could pick out for the background of your game. 100... <laughs> Why did they do that? Why did they do that? South Korea, I I give you a lot of shit for a lot of things, but I'm going to have to continue to give you shit for a lot of things. As a Korean living in America, there's a there's some things... What a choice, guys. I forgot I could walk. Okay, walking might help. But what if I want to take a big risk? Because sometimes the path that you choose is confusing. It's supposed to be Rio? Sure, but um, also I don't think Rio normally has people falling off roofs and... Uh, it, like floating pigs and, and people who are possessed by the smile demon. Um, so, and also, again, I feel like this it, uh, this is made by allegedly a South Korean team, so they kind of are out of their depth <laughs> representing Brazilian culture to begin with. What is this town? Holy shit! Guys, are you seeing this? Gamers! 
Are you seeing what I'm seeing right now? <laughs> like, what's happening? You're gonna give me a heart attack from the jumping? I, I think it's the main mechanic of the game, so you might have to see a little bit more of it, sad waffle monkey. The moon, she's so large. Yeah, what a beautiful day, night. The moon, it's Majora's Mask, and it's about to hit that mountain. Um, also, I guess I'm getting up to, like, a mansion up there? Is that what's happening? Certainly something. Yeah, this certainly is the game of all time, chat. This really... Where the fuck? Okay. Ah! What the... Ah! Okay, no, 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 we're fine. This game, remember... Uh, Goal of tonight is not being tilted by a video game. I am the master of my emotions, and therefore I can control what I do and how I react to it. Okay. I know you're supposed to jump up to this, but this is going to give me some form of heart palpitation issue. There's no... Yeah, you're, you're definitely supposed to. Oh my god, I suck! All right. Well... <laughs> not the music! <laughs> Oh my god, I need I need someone to find the Kevin McLeod song this is from. Oh, uh, what fucking 2009 YouTube vlog this is in the background of. Oh my god. Sometimes it's hard to choose the right path, but don't be afraid. <laughs> you can always repeat. You love kept, your, <laughs> kept your knees bent at least, true. Is there a way to turn down the sun? I swear to god, that's actually going to make me, like, vomit. Global illumination. Can I, like, just turn that to low? Is that gonna work? No, it's- oh my god, it's a, a completely different light source asset. Oh, Jesus, chat, this game is coded so fun. So I was right when I was like, uh, this game is- I can tell this game's gonna be absolute shit, and I can't wait to play it for content. That is 100% what's going on here right now. My acrophobia hit really hard with that fall. Oof. I'm sorry about that, Corey. It is a game called Only Up. So there might be a little bit more of that. Fortunately, we have seen that our protagonist has just uh, legs of steel. I don't know what's driving this little boy upwards, but um, they're doing great. And they're not in the hospital, so that's probably both really positive things, right? I, I think we can all agree. So I can't parkour up there. It's a game mechanic for the sun. Well, God, wh who made this? Someone who is just like, you know what? I just lost my job. My girlfriend left me. Uh, I actually got booted out of therapy because my therapist said I was too emotionally unintelligent to have therapy done anymore. I am... Uh, I'm going to make a game that just makes people upset because I want to... Uh, Translate the feelings I'm feeling to the rest of the world. I want everyone to feel like crap the way that I do right now. <laughs> like, holy crap, therapist, this. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's the, it's hard to choose that's the, the only path, reason I feel afraid. like this was made. You can always repeat. We learn from our mistakes. Same reason some kids climb trees. Why am I reading chat while I'm falling off a pipe? This is just the most game ever. Yeah, but but climbing a tree is like a creative, fun thing. This is like a... Oh my god, I... Goblin Town theme song, 10 hour loop. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to choose the right path. But except it, except it's you only this. You can always repeat and learn from our mistakes. It's only this chat. For all of you who need that clip, maybe oh, it didn't work. No. Yeah, you can't. Unfortunately, you have. If you want to send a clip in chat, send it to a mod, and they'll be able to uh, post it in chat for other people to see. Um, we don't. We don't have universal links on just because, unfortunately, people have abused those in the past. The song loop is going to make me go insane. How do you think I feel playing this video game right now? It's just a lot. It's a lot going on. There's the girl who is uh, just having the greatest Sometimes day of her it's life. it's hard to choose the right path, <laughs> but don't be afraid. Up. You can always repeat. We learn from our mistakes. 
See, like, the point of the Benefati voice, right, is it's infuriating, but it's also, like, meant to be, uh... Like, fairly sound life advice to a degree. It's supposed to be frustrating, uh, that, like, toxic positivity. I just feel like I'm on a TikTok trend. And, uh, some armchair, uh, armchair psychologist is telling me how to get over my depression. You know, if you just, if you drink a lot of water, and you do a daily affirmation, you can get over almost anything. Thank you, TikTok voice. All right, I gotta walk here. This is kind of scary. Ooh, a nipple. Let's bounce on that. Oh, the nipple doesn't want to be grabbed or jumped on. Okay, here we go. This is a really weird noise I made. So true. Haven't thought of that. Thanks, King. I know, right? I love, I love seeing people use their platforms to just spread common sense kind of thing. If you have depression, just make sure you aren't depressed anymore. Uh, am I supposed to be able to make that? I don't know if I like being in the pipe. It's kind of throwing off my... God, this camera, dude. I don't know if I like... Okay, oh, the brain is activating. The cells are moving around in the in the skull chat. Okay, I think, I think I'm supposed to go from here... To... Th that? I, okay, we're, we're going all around... How did someone beat this in 23 minutes? What a sicko. I hope... I wish them well. Really hope therapy goes well for them. Oh! Okay, 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 okay. Oh, this is gross. I kind of miss the music now. It's so positive. Physical and mental health misinformation is one of my least favorite things on social media. TikTok uh, is really good at spreading that kind of stuff. And it really bothers me as a former psych counselor because I'm like, wow, this is the exact opposite of what you should be telling someone with mental health issues. Um, this is this is just a lot. This is... Uh, we're doing it. We're making it. So far, some things really are happening, chat. <laughs> Oh, wow. This is sickening, actually. This is a little gross. Thousand percent drives me insane, and then young teens think that they have the entire DSM-5 right. They're like, I self-diagnosed myself to have 18 different conditions that are very, very rare. And have only appeared in uh, the decades of mental health study, like, 0.1% uh, of the time. But I have all of them all the time and it's like maybe but also you learned from like bethany from idaho on tiktok who doesn't have any certification and just was like if you sometimes um pick food out of your teeth you are actually uh possessed by the ghost of christopher columbus which is a rare condition called columbusitis and uh you probably need to um, make everything about you now. And never actually seek any sort of mental help. There is something strange going medication. on with this world, though there has always been something wrong with it. What everyone clung to, the stability, has been shaken. Maybe this is a chance for me. That was very, I'm 14 and this is deep moment. Um, but I guess this kid does look about 14. Again, great taste in... Uh, Gravity Falls, though. This is gross. I don't like it up here. I really hate this. Seeing those videos that tell you symptoms of different mental health issues, and they're just like, you don't like cold water. Yeah, right. That's exactly what I'm talking about. It's very odd. So, fitness TikTokers have been pushing some of the most insane. Yeah, exactly. It's the, just drink water and exercise, and you'll be better. Just don't be sad anymore. <gasps> and it's like, yeah, shush. Shush, shush, shush. Be quiet. Okay. We're going. We got our motivational speech. Is this a train? Where in Brazil is this again? Why are there trees growing out of the houses down there? Why is the moon the size of our planet? What is happening here? 
Like, you have four different forms of tetanus from climbing these. Five signs you might be autistic. Number one, you don't like being stabbed in the ear with knitting needles. Yeah, exactly, Ecto. That's the other thing where it's like... <laughs> Hi, from Brazil. Yeah. Wow, guys, does Brazil really like this? This is wild. I kind of want to visit now. Speaking of psych stuff, my uh, MIL had her first... My mother-in-law had her first grief counseling appointment this week. She was put on anti-anxiety meds and was told she should be evaluated for ADHD. I really hope she'll uh, pursue a diagnosis one way or the other. I love that. That's actually great. That's a really good first step. I'm glad that she's not being pressured too much, but it's something that like can help normalize that maybe for her or help her realize why she feels the way that she does. Love that, generic litter god. Very good. It's fine when you talk about your experience anecdotally, but talking like you're an expert and overgeneralizing is not good. Exactly. It's, it's very damaging. We only kind of, at the end of the day, unless it's something that's done in some sort of, like, you know, the testable... The was opened here 120 years ago. ...controlled environment? My grandfather worked here. I often went to see him. My grandfather he worked, worked in the here for Sky Railroad? Years, and then he died. Grandpa, no! He died climbing up to his Sky Train, where he fell 800 feet and broke every bone in his body. He was, he was pulverized into a red puddle of mist. Um, yeah, I, I, I think that's the biggest thing. The biggest takeaway is remember that at the end of the day, and this is just like an easy mindfulness thing, that we're kind of only responsible for our own experiences. And a lot of the times, it's easy to find people who have experienced things the same way we have. And that's wonderful. But it doesn't mean every single person who is from whatever background or mental health uh, background, whatever it might be, has those exact same things happen to them as well. Like, even within very rare and hyper-specific niche things, there's variation. So, that's always, like, what I, I like to remind people of, you know? Once again, my favorite saying in uh, neurodivergent spaces is, if you've met one neurodivergent person, you've met one neurodivergent person. Not everybody experiences the same things. Exactly. Hey, what's up, Lulu? Hello, hi. It was a cannon event. Oh, my God. Is that safe? That wasn't safe. But there's a dog. Can I pet the dog? <gasps> you can't give me a dog that puts its hand out to shake and not let me pet shake the hand of the dog, dude. That's a cute Sheba. What the hell? I worked with kids who have ASD, and they are all very different. Yep. I am, I, uh, those of you who don't know, I used to be a psych counselor. I, uh, my main demographic was 13 to 18-year-old boys who had everything from um, bipolar all the way up to uh, schizophrenia. I did a little bit of it all. And I will let you know from those kids' um, perspectives, the last thing that they would probably want is to be overgeneralized and told how they are just because they fit a certain diagnosis. Yeah, that's not fair. Yeah, Grey Lady, that this is the, the least fair thing any game has ever done to me. You have a dog offering its paw to be shook, shaken, and you don't give me a shake button? Come on now. Oh my god, I'm in the vape cloud. Someone in this train is getting really wacky right now. Western Pacific. Hey, Grandpa, if that's you vaping in there, enjoy, man. Why? It, this, this is why. I, I understand to a degree this is probably symbolic in the lore of the game of like, oh, there's the fucking floating train in the sky. But I will say this is a, from a player perspective who knows very little about the game. This is very insane. This is, this is really, this is very overwhelming. All, uh, floating luggage. Okay. <laughs> Don't vape y'all. It's bad. I mean, here and there. Uh, yeah. I mean, don't vape nicotine. You know, if you're going to vape, get something out of it, right? And even then, you know, sparingly, you want to you wanna, uh, be able to still talk and breathe into your late age, guys, I promise you. Only thing I wish is that I've gotten a single diagnosis more than once. Every time I had to see someone new, I get a different diagnosis than the last doctor. So it's like, what's wrong with me? Shrug emoji. Uh, here is my diagnosis as someone who used to work in the mental health field. Nothing is wrong with you. That said, I know that's very unhelpful when you're trying to, like, figure out why certain things are the way they are in your life or your behaviors or whatever. Um, but 
something that I always used to push a lot when I was practicing psychology was uh, there's nothing like wrong with you. It doesn't matter what label you have. Every label that's given out by if a professional go quickly, go with friends. If you want to go is something far, go alone. <laughs> okay. Okay. Whoa, what the what uh-huh? Alright, chat, put your hands up. Gerb Hyper's in the chat, put your hands up. We're going. The label, the label of your diagnosis, though, does not matter. Does it sometimes help you figure out stuff here and there? Yeah, absolutely. What the shit? I thought that was about to yeet me off the cliff there. That got really scary. From here, you have a great view of the favelas. This is where what am I doing in this game? I'm trying to be to serious to my chat. This is where my whole life and the lives of my goddamn parents have been. My goddamn parents. Goddamn. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. We're still on it. We're still on it. We're still on it. Oh, this is freaking me out, guys. I hate this a lot. Am I... Was I supposed to do this? Or is this... Was the game... Was... Uh, or is this like a cheat? Am I cheating? Was I supposed to climb everything by... I thought the whole idea was like you parkour and climb. This whole game is a fever dream? Yeah, I feel like I just did, like, a pound of mushrooms before going live. You seem to be upping so yes. Yeah, it is called Only Up. What in the world? Okay. So is this sending me to the right? Okay. This is freaking me out because I keep feeling like I'm going to fall off one of those dead ends over there, and I, I don't want that. Hello, Sarah. Welcome to the stream. You are just in time for whatever the hell this is. Listen, chat, as someone who did my fair share of psychedelics in college, um... You won't make it. You are <laughs> here. Go back to the favelas. Your friends are there. Your destiny and life is there. You have to seek happiness there. Get a job in the favelas. Is an elephant you talking to me? Like you. you have to be with them and not stand out. You won't make it. This you is a really mean here. elephant. Go back to the favelas. Your friends are there. Your destiny and life is there. You have to Welcome to the elephant there. exhibit. The Elephants there. There are, are known you. for having a very good memory, but also, out. more importantly, being the it. meanest you sons of bitches too. in the animal kingdom. Go back to the favelas. Your friends are there. Your destiny and life is there. Is this three benefited? Pretty you much. Have to seek happiness Except there. really badly made with Unity assets. Um, like generic audio that's like TTS, like... Like, Justin sounds better when people, like, donate bits. <laughs> There's just a lot going on. Fallen, hello, hi. Um, why does the elephant sound like a radio? I guess it's, like, a, the, a museum exhibit. You know, like, at museums, they have, like, fake animals. They have, like, a... <laughs> like, the tour guide coming out of... Maybe... I, I'm trying to make sense of something that doesn't really have any sense to be made. So, I think that's part of it. What I was trying to say is, uh, I think a lot of people, I know how important it is for some people to have labels because it, it's a starting point, right? Something that helps you figure out, like, oh, I can sort of put X and Y together to make Z and, and, and make sense of whatever my situation is, why I've been a certain way my whole life, etc. But at the end of the day, labels aren't specific enough to fully encompass the individual human experience. They're a good starting point. They're a good generalization. Um, but a lot of the times, like we talked about, there's variation even within those labels. And that's okay. Uh, sometimes you're going to get answers when you get those. Diagnoses. Diagnosis. I still haven't figured out the right word for that. Um, but there's, there's like a whole bunch of different approaches to life that don't require a label. You could be like, why do I get so angry all the time? Why am I so impatient? Why, you know, why do I yell at people I love or something like that? Or why do I, you know, get like overwhelmed and have panic attacks because of X, Y, and Z? You, you could get a diagnosis for that. You could have some label put on you for that. And you might be able to make sense of it a little bit more. You might be able to get treatment that makes sense to you. But at the end of the day, you still could have 
you know, adjusted your cognitive behaviors. You still could have gotten therapy. You still could be on med. Like the meds help, obviously, when you get those diagnoses. Uh, so it's like obviously really frustrating. I understand where you're coming from. Don't want to invalidate that at all. But also, at the end of the day, there's nothing wrong with you. There's a lot of overlap with a lot of different conditions out there, a lot of different um, diagnoses. Again, I, I, why I worked in this field and I don't remember the right word for this. Um, there's a lot of overlap, and a lot of the times, uh, some of it is is just cognitive behavioral stuff that you end up working on a lot. Uh, going to therapy, being mindful as much as you can. Knowing that sometimes you can't escape some of the symptoms and they're just going to happen. To get to the new one, you first have to make a jump and get off the ground, not knowing what the future holds. There's some good advice right there. Sometimes it's going to be really scary, but you're going to just have to sit in those moments and go, this is just part of who I am. And it, it's something that once you become more at peace with that aspect of yourself, it starts to make a little bit more sense. I just noticed we also have a, a giant wall around uh, the New York City skyline that is, uh, what is it? are we in the Attack on Titan universe? Is that what's going on here? I think I needed to hear that, though. Thank you. Hey, you're welcome. Honestly, uh, I, the things I can tell you, generic glitter goth, aren't based around any sort of label. They aren't based off of any sort of diagnosis. You're a kind person who leads with that kindness you're someone who makes friends easily as is evidenced by here in the community you're someone who uh is very very funny when you chime in with jokes hold on to those things a diagnosis won't change those aspects of you there's no war in bossing set it does kind of look like that there's no structure in bossing set yeah i don't know why i parkoured that one I, I made that jump it felt like fully all right, chat. This is uh, a head trip of a game. I don't really. I, I almost feel like I need to uh, <laughs> it, <laughs> just. I, I don't even know. I got. I, I got to go like check to make sure like uh, my water bottle isn't laced. <laughs> There's just so much happening here. Rookie, hello, hi, welcome. This is weird. Oh, boy. Okay. I have some good news to share. Hello, Halloween. Tomorrow I'm performing music. Doing Wild Horses and Satisfaction by the Rolling Stones. Hey, those are great songs. Have fun. Can we get a, a Breeds Not Professional Diagnosis Redeem at some point? Make it ridiculous number of parasocial points. Um, so here's my thing about that daybreak is way back in the day, like I'm talking like 2015, 2016, a little into 2017 before I was better at setting my public boundaries. Uh, YouTube especially was a very weird place. And some of you guys might remember that, uh, where very regularly on like a reg almost weekly basis, um, larger creators, uh, like medium to larger creators, like me, Mark, Sean, people like that were getting a lot of DMs from fans that were very inappropriate uh, crossing the line where people were like, hey, I, uh, I'm, if you don't answer this message or like give me advice on how to like handle this like scary thing going on in my life, I can't guarantee something bad's not going to happen to me. Yeah, peak parasocial for sure. Um, and it's one of those things, uh, where that got super uncomfortable and people would find out like, oh, Brian used to practice psychology. He used to do, he used to practice counseling. So he should be fine with that. Um, and I got so many of those messages that uh, eventually it made me not be on Snapchat anymore. Like I closed my snapchat dms i close my dms in a lot of places and i'm not saying that i i doubt this community the way that it is now with how open we are about boundaries and and you know being aware of uh situations and whatnot and appropriateness um but it is one of those things i just kind of never want to open that door that much again to begin with 
Uh, and I really, really, really would hate to have it be like a point redemption. Even if someone's asking like a valid question, I just go into my, again, my only, uh, the only experience I have to draw from is my own personal experience. And like, that's why I always say I'm an idiot playing video games online. I'm just sharing my opinion. I don't have all the answers. I'm wrong all the time. People point out that I'm wrong all the time. You guys remember the great touche incident from a couple weeks ago? These things happen. Um, it's okay to share general advice uh, now and then, like here in the community, but I'd, I would feel really uncomfortable if people were asking like deeper psychological advice. I remember talking to you on Snapchat so long ago. Yeah. Yeah, that used to be just open for free to everybody. Now I do a little bit of it on Instagram because I can screen a little bit more. So, that, that, uh, I just meant like you say nice things about that person. That's why we have compliment parties. 20,000 channel points and we start a compliment party. I remember the daily zoom in pics. Yeah, with the, with the date <laughs> or the day of the week. You take care of yourself first and foremost. Thank you. I, I try to. Um, it's just one of those things where I don't think anyone means badly by it ever. Oh, my God. I can't believe I made that jump. But I just don't want to open the door and, and make a sticky situation out of something that um, could have been fully prevented kind of thing. And obviously, every uh, creator handles their community differently. Uh, just being in it as long as I have been those are just the boundaries I've set from my own personal experiences in this space and, and the people I've interacted with so yeah hey alright Captain Photon speaking of thank you very much for starting a compliment party sticking around long enough to save up that many points thank you that's really cool of you if you guys have never been here for a compliment party it's when you are able to compliment someone else in the chat um, you can compliment the community as a whole uh, feel free to go at it uh, obviously only if you're comfortable doing so but feel free to be really nice to each other chat is beautiful I love that yeah I won't read most of these out loud because this is meant more for you guys for each other thank you so much for activating that photon that was really cool of you all right train station My worked here as a oh, God. and he always what smelled the a few hell oil. is that I was afraid of him and hoped that one day oh. he wouldn't come back from work Oh, Jesus. All right, there's the, uh... A lot and often beat my mother and me, oh, Jesus, that's okay. That's the... That's the family trauma right there. Okay, we figured it out. Oh, I'm still scared of him. I can't fit un under there? Okay, that was some heavy stuff. I did not realize it was going to be like that. But, uh, now we know, I guess. Smile. I know I'm new here, but this community is so chill and kind. Thanks for welcoming me in. Uh, I'm, I'm glad you enjoy the vibes here, especially when I'm playing... <laughs> Whatever the hell this game is. You did, this game is so weird and ridiculous, and you're going to hit us with that, dude? Come on, now. Fortunately, it's during a compliment party, so we can uh, ignore what was said and focus on the good vibes people are bringing each other here in the community. Hopefully. Uh, did I just glitch... Oh my god, I, I almost got stuck in that. Okay, well, this train's in the way, so where the- Oh, there's a pipe right here all along. You guys are wonderful. Thank you so much. I, I love seeing this part of the, the streams. People are just really, 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 really nice to each other. You know what's weird, chat? Maybe it's just because there's less Unity assets all cluttered up here than on the ground, but this is loading and, and running a lot smoother now up here. Now that we're all the way. All the way. You guys remember that song? Did you want to unlock old YouTube memories? He almost didn't grapple onto that, mantle onto that. That got scary. All the way. All the way. I don't think I can make that. Last time I tried to jump like that, we uh, did the big old dead. What did I get stuck? I got stuck on like a rock. Oh, this might actually suck butthole. Oh, no! It's fine. 
All the way gets recommended to me 10 days a week? Really? Aw, oh, and but God, you guys are so nice to each other. Old Jacksepticeye would have played this game before he became a coffee sellout. Woo! Okay, so maybe this is the move. Camera straight down. Ooh, parkour onto the barrels. Because the collision on, in this game is not super great. Oh, Jesus. I'm going to shit in my own pants. Ooh, you little boy! It's not as bad as Jump King. Not as bad as Jump King. I'll call it right here. I recently played Jump King again, so it's okay. It's all right. Knees bent, not broken. Idea of Sean playing this frightens me. I think his commentary's mellowed out so much over the years. I think it wouldn't be that bad. Suppose they're shitting in someone else's pants? Yeah, it can be done. Like, I, I like that you're acting like that's an impossible task. There's really not a lot stopping someone from doing that. That's the other... Like, if you really, really wanted to, if that was, like, your thing, theoretically, I mean, outside of the legal repercussions that would probably happen, or at least social repercussions... Oh, my God, I thought he wasn't going to grab that. Uh, or that, Jesus. Um, you, you could, if you wanted... Shit someone else's pants? Absolutely. You can do that. I smell it out, but I can just hear the screams in my head and see the death in his eyes. Oh, yeah. My friends in high school would threaten each other with, I will piss your pants. Oh, yeah, that's one of my favorite threats to make. That's one of my favorite threats that's ever come out of the internet. It's, I will piss your pants. That's just fun. Well, at least I didn't read to the... Uh, horrible backstory of this kid I wish my I, I hope my father wouldn't come home oh good invisible walls I thought this game was innovative I thought that this was about creativity what's that about invisible wall game it's an amazing threat it really is quite amazing is this even the right way I feel like it's gotta be because those barrels are scary. Turning in someone else's pants feels like a guaranteed way to end up talked about on Sean and Ethan's podcast. Probably. Or distractible. The prototype. Oh, I see. So either way, I'm going to have to face some crappy barrel jumps from the looks of doodles. I don't like this. Maj, what's up? Hello, hi. Welcome to the stream. Give me one second to read your good news. I didn't get to see it in the chat yet. Uh. Oh my gosh, that's wonderful news. That is incredible news. Thank you for sharing that. That's lovely to hear. Congrats to both of you. I'm playing a really, really messy game. I, I, I gotta be able to... Like, look at this, like, steel girder thing. There's no way I can't make this jump, right? Oh my god, oh my god. Okay. I feel like this... I, I don't want to do the barrels. The barrels just seem unnecessary and awful. How did someone do this in 23 minutes? Get a job. Okay, this is way better than the barrels. And we're, we're going up like the game only up. The game wants me to. I'm like way higher than the barrels. I'm way higher than the barrels, dude. You have no idea what's in this strain. But it is getting me much higher than the barrels. Also, I think I saw something earlier from Sarah about the newsletter. If you guys don't know, we have a community newsletter on the Discord now. Uh, and if you have... If you have fan art if you have poems writing short stories anything you want to share with the community via the newsletter think of like the school newspaper from back in the day except it's our community which is cute as hell right um there are currently no submissions for july 
So get your get your stuff up in that. Help out Sarah. Wait, what am I? My chat stopped scrolling for like fucking two years. Wait, what? I submitted poetry. Did Sarah not get it? Uh, that I don't know. That Sarah's the one who said that there was um, nothing submitted yet. Looks like I got a draw. You might have to message Sarah. Oh God. This is like an oil rig? Whoa, this is weird. Some say that soon no one will need oil, but it is unlikely to happen sooner than in 20 to 30 years. And meanwhile, oil is still a resource that people kill for. <laughs> oh, I love the TTS voice. Just... Dropping trauma, dropping uh, humanitarian uh, disaster facts. There's a lot going on in this game. Squeebles, hello, hi, welcome to the stream. They're not wrong. No, they're not wrong, but like, this is the TikTok voice, pretty much. What is the T? Yeah, why is it the TTS voice? If Justin ever, um, if people ever stop uh, donating bits and Justin doesn't have a job anymore. I'm not, I, I don't mean just for this channel. I mean for every channel that uses the Justin voice. Maybe she'll be able to get a job doing this. Oh, good. We have random ass music. Piano music, chat. Beautiful. Gorgeous. This one's actually very pretty, at least. I don't know what the hell the other song was. Is the TTS supposed to be the child? Yes, it's like their inner monologue. Oh, my God. It sounds like a rejected anime song. This is the uh, the ending theme of an anime. Or the bad. It's like the thirty second clip that plays uh, when a character's like, "I will never give up on you, never." Oh my god, Kirito! Oh my god, I almost fell. That's what I get for invoking Sword Art Online. It's the mid-series finale audio when things look dire, yeah. Even if we all die here right now. Some of my best memories are here with my friends. We tried our hardest, guys. And it's like a sports anime and it's like... The Charleston Cougars have won the soccer cup! And they're like, yeah! What in the... This isn't how physics work is going on here. Oh, why did you grab that, you little boy? Um, oh, 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 Subway Surfing. You guys like that game, Subway Surfers? I'll put it on in the top half of the stream so you guys can watch that while I play this. Oh, my God. No, why would I get fat? Oh, Jesus. That scared yeah, the shit out of me. Fat. Thank you, Squeebles. Thank you so much for subbing. Enjoy your, your emotes and your sub badge. Thank you so much for being here. That's really cool of you. Unbelievably kind. Okay, listen, I love Subway Surfers. I didn't say anything bad about Subway Surfers. I love Subway Surfers. It's actually really fun. What I'm saying is, haven't you seen the TikToks where it's someone who's like, I'm going to tell you guys about the notorious serial killer. Ted Bundy, and then like while they're doing that, there's like the top half of the TikTok is someone just playing Subway Surfers because Zoomers are so screen addicted and they need so much activity to stimulate their brains that they have like gameplay to watch while they zone out the, all the facts about Ted Bundy. My entire For You page right now, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Don't Don't get me wrong, I love watching the Subway Surfers footage. Because I also have ADHD. I'm very Zoomer coded. You you toss on Angry Birds on the top of your TikTok while you're talking about... <laughs> when this factory exploded, it killed 300,000 people in the surrounding town. 
And, and you got Angry Birds playing on th I'm I'm watching that whole video. You've caught my attention. You've caught both sides of my brain at the same time. Yeah, the Minecraft. Yeah, uh, Skyblock. Am I the asshole stories? Yeah, those are great too. So ones that just read it. They're just Reddit posts with Subway Story. Yes, exactly. That Okay, here's the thing. Okay, great point, by the way, Captain Photon. Uh, like, four years ago... Like, right before the pandemic news broke, before lockdown started, I was ranting to Morgan about how TikTok is so wild to me because a lot of the big accounts that, like, share facts on there absolutely do some, like, great research and do a lot of really cool things uh, as far as, like, the theming of their content. It's neat to see them do that kind of thing. But then there's, like, the other half of, like, info TikTok that literally just reads reddit like or reads wikipedia articles and i was like do you know how easy it would be to get big on tiktok just doing that here you go million uh follower idea for you chat so easy to do this just read a wikipedia article it does not matter if people can see your eyes traveling off the screen all of them do it all of them have scripts all of them do that they're they're not making up these facts or paraphrasing them putting their own spin and energy on it they're literally just narrating the Wikipedia page. And people go, wow, that's fascinating. That's I, I would never would have read that Wikipedia article. Wow. And then then you get clicks, you get likes, you, you go viral. And I, I was like ranting to Morgan. I was like, man, they're just reading the Wikipedia page for like sneakers, the origin of sneakers. Wild. It works. It genuinely works. So there you go. Easy, uh, easy content. Yeah, not even reading it themselves. TTS all the way. Exactly. Zombie Mum, hello, hi, welcome to the stream. Uh, it, it is wild to see that. And I'm not downplaying uh, how impactful that content has been. Um, and in fact, I, I, I like a good, like, straightforward video like that every now and then. But, like, I called that shit taking off well before it did. Should just do it with GeoGuessr in the background while giving random wiki location info. But see, that's the secret, though. The the stuff that's appearing on the screen has to be either, like, super on the nose. Like, here's, like, a screenshot of this conversation I'm talking about. Or it has to be so unrelated that Zoomers go, Ooh, Subway Surfers, I love that game. I'll sit down and listen to why, like, bees need to be protected. Like, th th that's how it has to go. It's because you're, um, you know, it's it's that saying, like, you don't use 100% of your brain. Those TikToks make you use 100% of your brain because you're focusing on the uh, Subway Surfers content and you're focusing on the cool facts that are being dropped. You have become one with the source code at that point. It's kind of neat. Um... But I, I, I called this trend a long time ago. It's kind of cool. <laughs> it's kind of funny to see it really taking off the way that it has. Oh, my ass. That scared me a lot. This is a big old clenching moment, guys. The ones I don't like are the ones that are like, do you have this phobia? Here's three images with different levels from easy to hard. Oh, yeah. It's just like, hey, do you want to be, um, like, triggered today while I put on, like, some cringy, like, R slash no sleep music? It's like really weird. Modern iPad baby content. Yeah, it's it's literally iPad baby content for adults. It's baby sensory videos for adults. It's adult sensory videos. And there's nothing wrong if you enjoy that kind of content. It just, it is what it is. We're calling it as we see it. And like, there's been a couple times where I'm like, babe, I think I'm just gonna, like to Morgan, I'm like, I, I think I'm just gonna read Wikipedia articles on Reddit and see what happens. Or on uh, TikTok and see what happens. I definitely watch it if I'm listening to something else, but if it's a Subway Surfers and like a movie clip or something, where I have to watch to fully understand, I can't focus on both. <laughs> Fair. I get the uh, Subway Surfers X anime ones. Why did you not grab that? I was jamming that space bar to grab that, dude. Is this does this game play better in controller? I gotta find out. Does this game have controller support? Uh oh, chat. I don't think this game has controller support. I, I do not 
At the same time, though, I do this to myself. I retain more information listening to it while play while I play Power Watch Sim. Yeah, exactly. There you go. Yeah, it's like a mnemonic, Captain Photon. I love the baby sensory videos, those dancing fruit. I, they're great. We used to watch those on stream sometimes. That was fun as hell, you know? So. Uh, weird how, I mean, it sounds about Reddit. Oh my god, what the shit are you doing, dude? Why, why didn't he, like, jump at the angle I faced him in? How would you ever play it like this? How do you ever play it off center camera? You are... You're someone who, like, the teacher was like, hey, don't eat glue. And you were like, oh, it's so funny to see people's reactions when I eat glue, though. And it, not realizing, like, the lasting long-term effects of that, you know? Um, bring back the baby sensory. I mean, I will. Thank you, mods, for taking care of whatever the fuck that was. <laughs> Sorry to whoever spammed something. Get a new bit. You're boring. And if it was harmless, then get a new bit. You're boring. It's because babies are the target audience, but turns out lots of people like it. They're cute and fun and non-threatening. Baby sensory videos are the best. They're great. Sylvie, hello. Hi. Welcome to the stream. Too late. I already ate it. <laughs> I'm cleaning gutters and suddenly, ah, right, the entire history of candy corn just re <laughs> reasserted itself into my mind. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you on that. All right, chat. This is my um, bargain town, bargain bird in Jump King uh, area of this game, I guess. Where it's just going to be me repeating the oil rig. At least it's not bringing the music and the narration back here. At least this is like, I, I can do this in relative peace. I don't have to hear the child's. When I was a child, I sometimes dreamt of the stars always going upward. That gave me the inspiration to be happy. Like, what? What? What are you talking? What, what kind of uh, weird Confucian shit are you spouting? It's really bizarre. Babies are your passion? I feel like out of context, that would be the worst sentence to ever write. But because I know what we're talking about here, that's fine. <laughs> Why would you ever choose to go along the barrels and then, like, up that way? I feel like that would be a big waste of time, right? Is that not, like, a silly idea? Again, how did someone do this in 23 minutes, whatever the world record is? Please get a hobby, get a job, get a, a partner, a spouse, m travel, do uh, something. Oh, little guy. <laughs> Sorry, context. I'm, I'm a NICU nurse. Totally understand. No, like I said. <laughs> yeah, if you, if you can beat this in 23 minutes, I know you haven't been to therapy in the past 10 years. I know for a fact. There's no shot. Yeah, get a get a haircut. Get a real job. <laughs> Anyone who speed runs this needs a job also, Brian. That route would be a waste of time. Okay, you, does it look like I'm speed running? Does this look like I'm the world's fastest gamer at uh, always up? O only up, whatever the hell this game is called. The content game of the moment. Everyone will forget about this in like a week, probably. It's only funny for like yesterday and, and today. I will say, I lost it in the beginning though, hearing the music and the TTS voice repeating 800 times in a row. Can you believe we came from all the way down there? That's actually kind of impressive technically that we can... Maybe that's why they coded in a bunch of stock unity resources is it makes it easier for things to load and you can see the the ground from all the way up here just go faster for it <laughs> i don't want to do that i feel like i'm throwing away a good thing all right oh my god that scared that ass out of me 
A green. Not yet, but thank you very much for the 23 uh, months. Thank you so much, uh, TTS Voice, for sharing more lore of this uh, game with us. It's the same voice, dude. It's like the same voice. By the way, again, uh, if you guys aren't aware, we do have new voice sound alerts. Not voice sound alerts, just sound alerts. Oh my god, I thought that it wasn't going to grab that again. I was going to flip out. No, I wasn't because I'm a, the master of my own emotions. And I won't allow a digital, silly, uh, a bunch of code on paper. Uh, not paper, what am I saying? I <laughs> won't let a bunch of silly code tilt me. I'm not going to be like those other weak gamers that get tilted. Thank you so much again, Agrin. Yeah, it's almost two years. I <laughs> wasn't trying to make you fall. Don't worry, you didn't. Realize, even though I reminded chat ten minutes ago, I forgot to take my meds myself. Yes, go take your meds. Maj, please take care of yourself. All right, I think I need a running start for this, right? No! Oh, yay, I did it. Okay, wow, 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 wow. That was really bad for a second. All right, Dipper Pine hat is on. Gravity Falls for good luck. I can't believe they just stole assets from other shit. Is this Karl Marx? Can we get some K comrades in the chat? What is happening? <laughs> why is he here? Carl, why are you here? Not only are you here, but, like, you're farting a lot or something. There's a big dust cloud behind you, man. Farting for everyone. Yeah, thank you for the salute, chat. Hi, Carl. Right by the uh, same tag... Some tags, graffiti. Like a weird guy. What is this? <laughs> Why is Carl fucking... A pooter. Yeah, he's having, having himself a little poot. There's no reason for this. Why is this here? Carl, I gotta go. I gotta leave you. Good luck with the manifesto. I gotta go. I can't become the next victim of McCarthyism. Alright. Communism school map. Yep, bye, Mr. Marx. Goodbye. This part sucks a lot. Okay. No, you guy, you, hey, you guys. If you don't hit the places at the right angle, sometimes it just drops you into the void, dude. Oh, Jesus. Why do I hear like a laundry, why do I hear vacuum cleaner? Hello? What? Oh, robotic arm in the factory. Are we going to get more lore narration? I don't know if I'll be able to hear it over the crash test dummies being built. Hey, you guys. It's been a sticky 42D, but he was. I gotta leave you, Carl. A single tear running down his cheek. I understand, but for the good of the many, I will finish my work. Vacuum cleaner is what my dying PC sounds like. Oh, no. I hope you're able to get um, whatever parts you need to save it or keep it on, keep it alive as long as you need it. Could just be a fan issue, though. Maybe your fan just on. I need to, like, actively unclench my shoulders after you make a jump. Me too. I, uh, so one of the things I'm working on in therapy right now with my therapist is I am not very aware of my body, which is why you guys constantly see me lose control of my face when I'm emotional. Um, but I'm working on somatic exercises. So I'm a little bit more aware. Oh, good. Hazardous chemicals. A young boy walking through a cloud of hazardous chemicals full of graffiti so I'm, I'm, I'm working on that as well Goonies never die Kia I love Goonies it's so fun it needs a new everything it's a decade old oh I'm sorry that's a fun one remember to unclench your jaw relax your shoulders and take a deep breath with your eyes closed exactly um, I actually like the, a lot of the somatic exercises I'm doing because it like focuses on deep breathing and 
uh, just being aware of like what each part of your body is doing in any given moment really does help out a lot. That was an interesting area. Bar limited. Powder storage. I feel like some of this stuff are assets stolen from like real life things that probably shouldn't have been, but good luck suing a random dev who's based in South Korea. <laughs> it's like a lot. You know? Open Twitch to see if uh, it's notifying me when Brian's live. It was not, so hello again. Hello, Generic Bones. Hello, thank you for the bit. Um, speaking of, uh, did, did people get the... Uh, we're in the Wild West, chat! Somehow we went from a crash test dummy factory, like the chemical warehouse, the railroad, up here to rootin' tootin' western shootin'. Did, uh, did Discord tell everyone that I was live? Because the bot has been kind of funky in recent weeks, and uh, we're pretty sure it's working again on the mod team. But uh, every confirmation that it is is good. Every day that it is working really well is good. Denny bought me pencils recently with little Goonies quotes and references on them. I love that. I love that so much. Also, just seeing uh, Ki Hui Kwan uh, have like a renaissance after playing Data in that movie, I freaking love it. Again, if you guys don't know, I grew up in a time period where Asian, if you ever want to know why Asian representation, I'm like so fucking loud about it on social media and here and stuff, is I grew up in a time where some of my classmates thought that Korea, where I'm from, was a part of China. It was like a district in China. I'd be like, oh, I'm from Korea. And they'd be like, where in China is that? Where Asian representation was like the old kung fu master at the top of a mountain. Or like the butt of a joke. You know, you were the comic relief. You were, you know, Ken Jeong in, uh, in the Hangover movies. Like, poor Ken Jeong, dude, having to put up with that. He's talked about how shitty that made him feel so many times. It, it was rough. It was weird. We've come a long way. And then to see, like, everything everywhere all at once, like, pop the hell off. Like, stuff like that. Like, Crazy Rich Asians did really well. Like, having, like, more modern cinema with Bird, meeting Asian actors. School, this is a great. Army, Institute, Factory, Death. Hello, kinfolk. Okay, if I'm to, if I'm to believe this is a grave mass here for this person... That's a huge headstone, by the way. Oh, my God. That's gigantic. These are graves. This dude was huge. Look how big this guy's grave was. Holy shit. Why is this guy so huge? And he has the smallest headstone. Compensating for something. Hey, hello, hi. Makes me so happy to see Key make a comeback. I always love Data. I've always wondered where he'd gone all these years. Seeing him in his renaissance just fills me so much joy. Yeah, I love it. Um, Chinese-born... Uh, what's it called? American Born Chinese? Is that it? American Born Chinese on, on Disney Plus? I haven't watched it yet. It looks interesting. But that's got a lot of the, the same people from everything everywhere in it. It's cool to see, like, a, a renaissance. And, you know, people are more accepting of, like, Asian culture because of K-pop and, and uh, like, you know, anime and things like that are just the starting point, which are pretty much, you know fictionalized, dramatized versions of, like, actual Asian people, which is kind of how, unfortunately, it had to start to get people to normalize Asianness. And sure, we got some gross, like, problematic fetishization out of that as well, but it's kind of awesome to see, like, you know, you got ramen in your grocery stores, and it's just accepted that it's there. You got you got people who are getting into, like, Asian music and cinema, like, uh, freaking Parasite, who's, like, an Oscar nominee movie. That kind of shit is awesome to see. I love seeing that kind of thing. I know China and Korea have some cultural connectivity, but that's just sad. Yeah. The, eight, the, the early 90s, it was a different time. American Born Chinese was such a good graphic novel. I read it in my sophomore year of high school, and it was a very emotional book. It makes me so happy to see it turn into a show. I'll have to watch it and let you know what I think then. Parasite was so good. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was huge. It was a giant, giant, giant movie. Love seeing more Asian cultures and Asian American, uh, Asian Canadian cultures and media like Kim's Convenient. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we got, you know, Shang Chi uh, as like the first like Asian led Marvel superhero. Like, regardless of how you feel about Marvel comic book movies, like I I know I'm personally getting a little bit burnt out from them, and I'm a huge comic book nerd, but I still watch them. Um, it was awesome to see that. It was cool. They. Uh, 
included a lot of the influences of like classic Chinese cinema in it. Um, and then, I don't, oh, we got more music again, chat. Oh no, chat, the anime continues. We won the battle against the final boss. It's the last season of the anime, but one of the main characters was mortally wounded. Laying on their back, eyes staring straight up at the sky, tears forming around the edges, coughing up blood, just that single blood trickle down the side of their face. Did we, did we get him? Yeah, we got him. And it was all thanks to your special attack at the end. So, it's so sad. You hate to see it. <laughs> Every shonen anime ever made. He has sensei. We got him. Always keep the art of the flamethrower alive in your soul. I go to join the other grandmasters now. And then he dies. Thank you. Thanks. Try not for anime. I, I, I've gotten it. You know what's kind of awesome, chat, is uh, I've, I've had a couple... I haven't gotten anything yet, but I've had a couple um, opportunities to read for anime. Which is really neat. Hey! Now we're, we're in downtown Brooklyn, baby! New York City subway, baby. Nice. This is my territory. New York City. I don't live anywhere near the city, but I love the city. And I, as, a, as a New Yorker, you know, these people, the part of who I am. It's just the way we be in New York. We look out for our own. You know what I'm saying? Guys, at least I don't have the, like, Brooklyn accent, right? I got, or like, the Queens accent. I got a Rochester accent. It's a little nasally and whiny sometimes. You guys are used to it. For the most part, you guys say I, I say most words normal. What the fuck was that? Is this about to turn into a horror game? Because I cannot handle that right now. <laughs> Me. It's, yeah, Brook, Brooklyn. Why is this so creepy? What anime poster is this? Oh my god, it is anime. Season 18 of Neon Genesis. The end of the end, final act. Inside infinity slash eternity forever. That's, that's every time they release new Neon Genesis shit. It's, it's like always titled like that. I'm like, guys, you're Kingdom Hearts now. Kingdom Hearts of the anime world. What's, what's going on? Chill out. We saw everything. We saw Shinji get into the robot as many times as he probably could. You know? How the hell do I get out of here? Am I missing something? Like, there's this planky. Oh, it's literally a giant drain pipe. All right, chat. Okay. To be fair, gamers never look up. We don't look up. It's not a thing we do. It's against our genetic code. You know? Uh, my manager makes fun of me because my accent is like a horde cross between a Boston accent and a Queens accent. So my grandfather was from Queens and I was born in Massachusetts. So you're a mass hole and someone uh, from Queens? Please pick a struggle. It's the rule of horror movies and gamers. True. That's why the Babadook could sneak up on people on the ceiling. I always got a Brooklyn accent. That's true, Brookie. <laughs> Anime with Brian is the main character and Jordan is the music. Maybe some uh, TWRP or NSP collect. Uh, I would I would love the hell out of that, honestly. I would love the hell out of that. Look at uh, listen, Ecto. As someone who's interfaced with both of those types of people a lot, clearly from your background, am I wrong? Am I wrong? I know I'm not. That launched me into a fucking coughing fit. I wheezed so hard. Yeah, it wasn't an attack. It was just an objective uh, fact about your people. You know? <laughs> I gotta just climb to porta potty. Wait. Hey, I gotta go in here, guys. Don't look. It's TOS. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> There's your poop joke of the night. Hope everyone enjoyed it. You're gonna look at me and tell me I'm wrong? Right? Now we're on a, another construction site. What is this place? 
How long have I been streaming? I've been streaming this for like an hour and a half. Who beat this in 20 minutes? I need to know. I did. That person, they have to have been nerfed in some way. You don't just like beat this in 20 minutes like the third day this game is out. You don't do that. They, they, they have like asthma or something. They have to use an inhaler like when the air quality just gets even moderate. There, there's some nerfing genetically that's happened there. There's no way you just beat this game off the rip. We'll need someone to write it, but we'll also need a budget for the animating. Otherwise, I'd try to make it happen. Oh, God. So, I don't know if you guys know. There's an old... Uh, it's a strange feeling. I've never been this far away from home. What, this this many meters up into the air? Because that makes sense. Cuban, Italian, German, grandfather from Queens, mother from Philly, born in Massachusetts. I am the driver of the... <laughs> Just notice the hat? Yes, it's Dipper Pine's hat from uh, Gravity Falls. They, they, uh... It, do you know what's really weird? It is now the protagonist lets me look at them. Where in the beginning of the game, they turn their head away so that you couldn't make eye contact. Chat, they're growing! Aww! They can confidently make eye contact now. Oh, that's so cute. Me eyeballing my inhaler on my bedside table. <laughs> uh, Daybreak, I don't know if you know of the old school anime YouTuber Misty Cronexia was their name. Um, I don't know if he makes videos anymore. He had a kid and he sort of like dropped off the, the off of social media at least. But um, we were mutuals a long, long, long time ago back when I rolled with that crew. Um, but... He tried to, uh, like, kickstart an anime. Um, and he raised a shit ton of money for it. I'm talking, like, I think it was, like, a million bucks. It was some huge fucking amount of money. Like, not as much as a traditional studio, but he was like, oh, this is enough to, like, pay, like, American and, like, Western animators to do something, like, in an anime light style, sort of like, you know, Avatar The Last Airbender, Something like that. I think he raised like a few hundred thousand bucks or something. I, I'm exaggerating with a million. But he raised a shit ton of money at the time uh, for a Kickstarter from a YouTuber. And he made his anime. And because of budget limitations, because they burned through the money so quickly to hire a team of animators, composers for the music, writers, uh, etc., um, and they, they even had the source material. He, they were just adapting a book that he had written already, that he had already sold to his fans, that his fans gobbled up and liked, that was like a fantasy novel. Um, so they already had, like, everything, like, the groundwork laid, and it flopped super hard. The animation looked like crap. The the voice acting was, like, kind of subpar because they, they hired, like, some, like, people who weren't super experienced uh, just to save money on the budget because they were sort of, like, burning out by the end. The music was okay, um, but, like, just Ed, pretty much everything about it, like, fizzled and, and died. Uh, and it, it, it basically helped highlight that industry, how expensive it is to make anime, and also where the industry as a whole cuts corners in paying voice actors and animators and things like that. And it's, it, it kind of sucks. But it, it, it's hard to individually fund now. It's so hard to independently fund. It was like a million dollars for only a few episodes. Yeah, they, they, they planned on doing, I think it was like five or six episodes, and they only got two done before the budget burnout. And he was like, sorry, guys, I know I promised this. It was kind of like a big, like, he didn't get canceled for it, but, like, people side-eyed him in his own community for a while because they were like, you burnt through all that money, and you promised this. And it's not that we think you lied to us, because, like, obviously you ran out of money. We would believe that part. But it's like you didn't do the research to budget how much this was going to cost and, like, how intensive this was going to be on the team that made it and stuff like that. And, and it sucks that it's so inaccessible as, like, an art form. Like, independent animators will talk about it all the time. I have so many independent animator friends who are like, hey, it, it's like that joke in Parks and Rec um, when Ben... Uh, goes on like his hiatus and he picks up stop motion animation and he's like oh guys you got to see what i made oh check it out and he shows them his stop animation they're like yeah yeah i can't wait to see it and he shows them a five second stop animation film and he's like so what do you guys think and they're like oh can't wait till there's more and he's like oh uh, that that's it what do you mean more and they're like oh no it was great yeah and then like in the confessionals they're like that that was it 
Like, um, that that is basically what it is. Is like my friends will be like, yeah, Genshin Impact like uh, commissioned me to do like a fifteen second like uh, promotional like anime uh, animation, and it took me like four and a half months to do, and it was super stressful and it cost this much money to get other people like on board with it. Like that was covered by the budget that Hoyo gave us. Um, but it was 15 seconds uh, over the course of like four and a half months. It, it's that kind of thing. It's just like wild. When you look at like animation cells and like how like the flip book process of like animating that goes, it's, it's so crazy. I really, really respect animators like so much. Um, so Sort of thing that definitely sounds like the passion not meeting the budget. Yeah, and that's why a lot of people just do, like, Webtoon now or, like, manga. It's a lot easier to keep that in a budget's control and still get this, the point of your story across and then maybe then hope that, like, a major studio picks up that's, like, has the overhead to be able to handle, like, animation. Then they can pick it up and, like, run with it and help you adapt it. Sylvie, thank you for the bits, by the way. Yeah, if you guys want to hit chat for uh, all the subs, resubs, donations, everything that's come through here tonight. If you want to hit uh, chat with some pride and some hypers, that'd be wonderful. Some pogs. Thank you so much, Sylvie, for those bits. That's really generous of you. I was working on learning to animate, but my ADHD is too spicy. Yeah, I'm not saying you can't do it. And you're gonna, it, here's the thing, is being a perfectionist is hard in it because everyone's intro to animation looks like junk. It just does, objectively. No one starts off good at animation because it's not a skill set that's just draw. There's so much more that obviously goes into it. So it is one of those hobbies you kind of have to have that like strong stomach for. Like, oh, I can see myself improving. It's not there yet, but I'm gonna really have to like put a lot of hours into this stuff, right? Falcon, thank you for 31 months, by the way. I hope that you're doing well. Thank you very, very much. Appreciate you a ton for that. Thank you. Been making my own very simple animations for my own stream. Cool. Very neat. Uh, I've been getting into making little webcomic strips recently, and someone I showed them to was like, you should animate this, and I was like, I'm definitely not that skilled. Yeah, it's it's uh, it takes a lot of work. Self-teaching definitely is... Oh, what the fuck?! You can hit that? I hit the wire and bounced off the platform. Anyway, if you want to try out ideas and still tell a cool stories, like, you know, yeah, make make comics, make manga, make uh, webtoon. Oh, shit, that was wild. Well, we get to explore this uh, construction site a little bit, I guess. That was weird. I just bounced off like a little pinball. So much work. One of my, uh, my first animations is never getting done because the person I was making it for, someone I don't like anymore. Yeah, and that, that's the other thing is like, you know, in this time span that you're making an animation, maybe you'll move on from that idea in that time because it, it took so long to make the animation. It's wild. But there's a reason that, um, that animators constantly talk about they should be paid more. I agree with that. The amount of work that goes into that field is unbelievable. Uh, really, really impressed by animators. Just as a, as a whole ass industry. Sarah, take care. Get some good rest. Hope that work goes well tomorrow. Thank you for vibing. Again, if you guys don't know, Sarah has a uh, newsletter on the Discord that if you want to volunteer any material for, it sounds like material that's been submitted fairly well. Hey, we're talking about art right now. If you want to draw something, if you want to even make a tiny little fun animation that's like three seconds long, you know, you could do that. You could submit that to the newsletter, submit it to Sarah. Um, you can do some writing, short stories, poetry, you name it. Be fun. Check it out. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, wild. Soarin'! Flying! Nice. Anime Fangirl, hello! Pin the submission link in general chat on Discord. Thank you for doing that, Brookie. That was really nice of you. That'll help out a lot. Not just hourly, but like a hazard fee for if the project falls through. Yeah, that's another thing. I have friends who've worked on like Disney shows uh, who are like, yeah, so this Disney show or like Warner Brothers was probably the biggest. Uh, Netflix and Warner Brothers are the two biggest sinners when it comes to doing this shit. But they, um, 
they were like on a show like an animation team um that like was working on these shows that had already been announced there's marketing done for them like coming summer 2023 uh, that, like, were pumped on, like, Disney Channel or, like, on the HBO Max app or whatever, like, Cartoon Network, you name it. Uh, and they were deep in it. Like, they were like, oh, yeah, we already got the first few episodes done. And then, like, Warner Brothers or Netflix were like, we're pulling the plug on that. Nope. Sorry. Kunk. It's done. We don't want to actually budget for this. We don't want to market for this anymore. Uh, you know, or, like, we didn't hit our numbers for whatever stupid test market we we showed this for, or whatever stupid things happen on exec boards. Um, and they would just pull the plug. And then my animator friend would go, cool, I am out of a job, but also, I'm not getting paid for the, the full amount of my contract because it was, like, a per work, per, like, episode, or, like, per... Uh, because, like, we didn't get to, like, the final stage of the contract, we, uh, we're only going to get paid, like, a fraction of what we should have gotten. Like, the whole reason I, like, gave up on my day job to, like, animate full-time for this is because I thought the amount of money I would get when the show completed, shooting, was going to be, like, enough to keep me afloat for the whole year, and now I'm scrambling for more money. And that's happened to a lot of them. A lot of them. They have told me so many horror stories from from so many different things it sucks animators absolutely need to be paid better and treated better and it's just very weird usually you can't even show off the work you yep because it's nda it's almost it's nda almost every single time whoa what the hell okay i'll take that okay now where do i go that was cool over here Oh my god, what the hell? Our little uh, springy boy is strange. Strange guy. Which way do I go? What game is it? It's beautiful. Uh, it's very beautiful Unity stock assets, but uh, it does look nice all put together, despite the chaos. It's called Only Up. It's terrible. <laughs> I, I, I've been having a blast with it. Have you ever had a voice acting role fall through like that? No, but I had a voice acting role that, um, I always have to be careful about how, well, not really, because the game's out, and it's not like, not like, um, it was an invite-only voice acting audition, um, but there's a pretty big, like, it's, it wasn't AAA, but it's from an indie studio that basically has a AAA budget. Uh, really, really big. This was from a few years ago, and this is, like, one of those stories I circle back to all the time, where I, like, pat myself on the back, but then I'm like, man, that money would have been great. Uh, and if you guys haven't been around for this story, it has some twists and turns. Um, but I basically was plucked out of obscurity after I did 7 for Boyfriend Dungeon to audition, uh, for an Asian character, um, for this indie dev that has so many games out that they publish. They have a shit ton of giant like budgets for uh their you know their devs their um programmers their marketing their everything so i knew it was legit and i was called up to the big leagues right away and i was like shit this is really flattering this is cool um i did my audition for them uh and they were like this is really good this is a really good audition uh it's between you and this other guy, hey, what's up, Phoenix? Welcome to the stream. Hello, I hope that you're doing well. Uh, to be the lead role in this big-ass game that we're about to release. It's a series that hasn't been around for a little bit. Uh, we sort of revamped it. We, we made it better. Um, we want an actual, before, the, one of the big issues they had was the protagonist who is Asian. The whole cast is Asian, right? The, the whole like uh, cast of characters are Asian. But for years, uh, this character was voiced by a white dude. So they were like, okay, we've realized that was a blunder. That's bad on us. So maybe we are going to cast an actual Asian per person now. We heard of you through the industry, and we really liked what you did in Boyfriend Dungeon, and we want to give you a shot at this. And it was between me and one other guy who was a Hollywood actor. Um, actually, the dude... Well, actually, no, I'm not going to give it away. 
uh, because then you guys can pinpoint the game right away. And I don't, I don't want to talk ill of this company because it was my personal decision and another Asian did still end up getting the role and he was willing to be like, yeah, my convictions lie somewhere else. Um, but it was me and this other guy, this other Hollywood actor, also Korean-American guy, so that was kind of cool. Um, oh, no, Phoenix, that's terrible. No! I hope that he, he put some oil in for free. I hope he traveled to you to do that, too. Jesus. Um, and uh, they gave me the script to read. And they were like, we're just doing callbacks. It's between you and this other guy who's a legit Hollywood actor. But we want to work with you more. Uh, instead of going through all the red tape of his, like, SAG-AFTRA, like, union, like, Hollywood, like, all the, all the, like, tomfoolery that comes with that. Like, all the contracts that need to be signed and all that, all that crazy stuff. They were like, we want, we want to work with you because that will be easier for us. And we can draw up, like, a, a different contract and that's fine. But we're still going to pay you what we would have been paying him. Um, and they were like, the number was very lucrative. They were like... We will give you, right off the gate, like, after you're done recording the script, uh, a five-figure salary. We will just pay you a five-figure salary for this. With franchising options, uh, you will be able to uh, reprise this role in sequels and in spinoffs, which we have planned. Um, so, it, I was like, that sounds fucking awesome. And I remember, I went to Morgan, I was like, this is fucking amazing. This is my big break. This is going to change our lives. You know, if, if I can get, like, just five figures from just voice acting on top of what I make from content and, and sponsorships that I do on social media and stuff like that, this is going to be life-changing. We can move out to L.A. right now. Oh, my God, this is amazing. I was freaking out. I was so happy about it. I was so excited about it. Uh, and the director who I was working with was, unfortunately, a white guy. And uh, I did my takes. And he was like, I really love your takes. I like the emotion you put into the character. You sound a lot like the last guy. They gave me, like, this big disclaimer heads up. Like, oh, because this is, like, a franchise. Uh, some people like the old voice actor, so some people might give you shit because you're taking over from him um, and stuff like that. But they're like, we're more worried about inclusivity and stuff like that. So, like, we want you to be the voice. And I was like, cool. Um... We want to work with you rather than the guild. Well, it was for a legitimate reason. One of my friends at the company actually vouched for that process as well. And when they cast the other guy, they were like, it was a fucking nightmare working with his agent. He was terrible. Um, so they were like, we should have just gone with you and let you get your way, basically. Uh, so I did this thing. And he was like, we, we like the emotion. We like the delivery. One thing, though, is so the protagonist of this game is Asian. Uh, and because it's a first-person game, you never see the protagonist, but we want to make sure that viewers, that players, know he's Asian and are know that's an important part of his identity. And I was like, okay, what do you, what do you have in mind for that? Is he going to just, like, make some more references to, like, you know, Asian iconography, stuff like that? Can you do... A little bit of like a Asian accent and I was like um not really comfortable doing that because uh from that hey what's up chronic welcome to the stream from that perspective um makes me uh, think twice and triple now it, it's a very common thing daybreak uh the Union work and non-union work in voice acting comes with so many differences, and both have their pros and cons, but I completely understand the decision that they made, not wanting to do that at first. Um, it, it was a very legitimate reason. Just as someone who's been in the biz for a very long time, I absolutely understand why they did it. What a story to come in on, right? Chronic, you've heard this one before, I think. Um, anyway, so they wanted me to do like a heavy... like. Like, oh, like, oh, I'm, I'm the main character. Like, kind of fucking parody voice. Because I did it a little bit. I was like, I can do, it like, a tiny one. I'm fine with that because I'm Asian. And, like, I know plenty of immigrants who have this accent. Uh, you know, I, I know people directly who have this accent. That kind of thing. I could do, like, a tiny bit of one. But I don't want to have it go into parody. 
And the guy was like, well, we wanted it to sound kind of more like the character did in the previous iterations. And that's when I was like, oh, you mean when the white guy was voicing this Asian character? Okay, I get it. And I was like, in this moment, also, I want to point out there, there's a couple, like, things here. Like, you said that, like, him being Asian is really important to his uh, identity. And sure, this is a fictional universe, so, like, you know, it's it's not like Asia exists as a continent in this universe. But also, all the buildings have Asian themes. They had, like, pagoda roofs. All the enemies were Asian-themed. You know, they were like, oh, it's the spirit of, like, a Chinese dragon coming to life to fight you. Uh, all of the characters in the cast are Asian. And the name of the character is Asian. So, yeah, Ecto, that too. So it is one of those things where I was like, a lot of that doesn't really sit right with me. Because, like, the, the players are going to buy this game at GameStop. And they're going to... And I wrote a big... It was a novel of an email. Um... I was like, they're going to see the character on the case. They're going to know he's Asian. And also, they're playing the third game in the series. They're going to know he's Asian. Um, so, it was just really weird. And even after writing that email, the director was like, well, we we still really want to work with you because we like your work. We like like your, your delivery. We think that you're closer than the other guy to this. Um... And they're like, we really want to work with you. We think it would be cool. Uh, so they weren't, like, mad at me for writing that. The guy was like, I get the points you're making, but, like, this is... If this wasn't a sequel, and this was the weak excuse where I was like, nah, fuck this. Um, he was like, if this wasn't a sequel, we'd have you just, like, take a brand new approach to this. And... But because it's a sequel, people, like, the players are going to, like, expect a certain, like, type of delivery and things like that. And I was like, nah, -uh, that doesn't fucking sit well with me. Um, and because here's the other thing. Again, this game came out years and years after number two in the series. They could have easily been like, this is the reboot. They could have just take, taken. So what I did was, um, yeah, Squeebles, yeah, that was part of it. Um, it, it, it was a little, it was a, so... I, I have more stories, like like I said. So, again, I was like, all right. I had this heart-to-heart -heart with my contact at the company who had, had been feeding me all the info, who is also Asian herself. And I was like, I don't feel comfortable uh, doing this accent. And I was like, as another Asian, would you like to give me some input? And we had a really good heart-to-heart -heart about it. And she's like, yeah, I didn't realize they were doing that. That's really fucking shitty. Um, because she was just part of the publishing team. Right? Uh, but she had the inside with, with what the devs were doing for the most part. And so, like, we had a, we had a little talk about, like, you know, pro professionalism and stuff like that. And I was like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to do my best delivery the way I think this character should be read. And I'm going to fucking stick to that. And that's what I did. I gave a, a line read with a very, very, very slight, like, traditional ethnic accent. But that was it. Mainly it was my voice, the way I wanted to do this character. They ended up going with a guy from Hollywood. They ended up going with him. Uh, he's straight up been in, like, Tarantino movies and shit. Like, he is, he's big. Um, it's kind of wild. Yeah. People go new directions with sequels all the time. Yeah. So, um, I contacted my, uh, my friend again, who works for the company. And she was like, yeah, uh, they loved your delivery but again it, it did come down to the accent and she's like I, I did give them an earful about that I said that that wasn't cool um, but uh, yeah I, ga I gave up a really big paycheck for it <laughs> Be being good in this industry sometimes unfortunately doesn't get you paid <laughs> but that's okay you know I'm, I'm proud of all the roles that I have had I've gotten to portray a Korean two times now which is pretty cool um, but yeah, we had, we had a long talk about it, and then, again, the guy who ended up getting it was just, he was someone who, like, actually had, like, Hollywood credentials, so I always am like, oh, I was I was a finalist against a dude from Hollywood. That's kind of fucking amazing. Um, but that was, uh, that was my big, big studio experience. Oh, guys, we have another anime protagonist dying music. 
I forgot why the story started, but there's that. Um, I'm trying to think. There's there's some like more. There's some more details about that story that I I can't remember fully, or like I can't remember if I said them already or not. Got jump scared by the music. Yeah, <laughs> music kicking in as you finish. Amazing. Value in that? We asked if you had a certain kind of project fall through. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, oh, that's creepy. Oh, Jesus, I didn't... Bye. Sorry. Oh, no, he's lost to the void. I don't know, I could do that. You literally can't interact with anything else in this game, and, and that you could? Is that the up house? Oh, my God, it is the up house. They really just ripped off everything in this game. Oh, my God. That's so funny. Murderer! No, no, he's a crash test dummy. It's just... Life's fulfillment was happening there. The up houses in this. This is actually insane. That unreasonable that they put the up house in this game. Those balloons are huge too. That's not even to scale properly. Um. Yeah. So I lost out on that. Uh, I did get to stick to my guns. I did get to make my voice heard. That was good. I don't know. Just the biz. Just the way it is, unfortunately. But even since then, I've seen a, a lot of really good change. Um, a lot of people being, like, recast and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, the way it is in the biz. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Cindy May, hello. I haven't been, uh, been here for a minute just lurking in the shadows everyone's doing okay yeah we're just vibing with a brand new game called always uh, 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 only up what is it called <laughs> it's just it's weird all i know is my big break's going to come eventually that and it's not going to involve me uh pantomiming or not pantomiming uh parodying my own people that's fine and that said that the game kind of flopped it didn't flop it sold a lot of copies it just uh critics wise it didn't do that great oh what the ass why did i fall that scared me a lot. Also, um, again, I do need to add the uh, the uh, BTTV emote that is like for ads, for like when there's an ad break, so people who are not subbed here can spam that the way they do in Jordan Stream um, to show off that an ad is happening. So I'm aware. So you guys can't don't miss story time and stuff or gameplay moments. So where the hell do I go? It's called Always Up, but I, I I don't... I have to get over there, maybe? Because that is higher. That looks like a high-rise over there. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, I think I have to go to the up house from those bricks. Damn, bricked up on a Tuesday. Oh. What a person really needs is not a state of peace, but the striving and fighting for some worthy goal. I don't know about that one. I've been striving and fighting my whole life through challenges, game. I like peace. Peace helps me. Peace makes my brain feel good, dude. You're a child. Why am I listening to your narration anyway? Who cares? Who cares what you have to say? You don't even know how to fucking, like, wash your hands after using the bathroom sometimes. You don't know how to stand up to peer pressure. Shut up. Yeah, I need peace, right? Peace is good for the brain meats. It is. <laughs> Look at these tendrils these are on. These are huge! Can I climb these? Probably not. I'll probably fall through them. Dude, Unity assets are so funny to me. <laughs> That's an Eldrick horror moment. Is Doug in here? <gasps> squirrel! No! No, I'm sliding off the roof! I got distracted by Squirrel. Just like Doug. My favorite. My favorite good boy. Carl is it what are the character names I forgot I love that movie and I forgot I haven't seen stop bullying this weird 14 year old yeah you're right their hobby is literally climbing a uh, weird metaphysical representation of of their anxiety and trauma so I, I shouldn't make fun of them you're right that's a weird hobby good news I put in an application for a place to rent? Hey, Silver, congrats! I hope that he goes really well. because she's old. She's probably like 20. Slay, what the heck? 
Slade. You're not allowed to do that. Now, I've talked to you about this before. You're grounded. Thank you for gifting a sub to Chaotic. Chaotic, enjoy the emotes and the sub badge. What the heck? Now, you have an ad-free viewing experience as well as those nice emotes and the sub badge. Slade, what the hell? You already do so much for this community. What the hell? What the hell? Look at this cool little cart. What if it, like, was a trap and it just made me <laughs> slide off the edge there? China shipping. Wow, that's descriptive. This is to the point. Oh, my God. Ah! Uh, I hate this game. It, it gives me some willies, dude. <laughs> the freaking uphouse, dude. I can't get over that. The uphouse. And they just, they were like, yeah, we'll just, we'll just get, we'll get away with it. Because we're, who is going to try to sue a random ass troll meme game dev studio that's only made one game from South Korea? <laughs> like, who did this? Why? If you don't have Vertigo play this game, yeah. If you do, on the other hand, <laughs> it's very odd. Gives you, huh? The willy, did I, did I not say the willies? Never heard of that? What are you, two? That's when I learned it, when I was two. Oh my god, I almost fell into he a cardboard box. What am I, a cat? She's probably like 25. What, what is happening in chat? Thank you very... What the heck? Thank you so much, City May. Thanks for a gifted sub to Generic Glitter Goth. Generic Glitter Goth, enjoy the emotes and the sub badge. Thank you very much. Make sure you're saying thanks to Sydney. Oh! a fun noise normal person noise that's very normal thank you so much that's really nice of you that's unbelievably generous everyone's very kind i almost said the thing i'm not allowed to say i said it was way too kind but it is very kind thank you everybody thank you oh my god this is really weird everybody says whoa up house nobody asks what's up house normal voice actor noise Normal content creator noise. Wow, I just jumped backwards for some reason. Oh, you guy. You little guy. Oh, my God. All right, I'm going to go back to walking in this part. This is rickety and definitely up to safety code. Oh, oh, camera. Why did you make it so I saw through the ceiling for a moment? That was the worst thing I've ever experienced in this game. I feel like I'm going into a horror game here. The horror game is the stock music and assets. This child, right? This child's going to need more therapy. They're explaining their trauma to us, a bunch of strangers. And then and then also they're going to need speech therapy for their TTS voice. And they're also going to need more therapy from just climbing up this and having so many close calls. Getting stuck on random things. Holy shit. If you fell down there, you pretty much fall all the way. Good God. Had the music sting in the subway? Yeah. There was like some creepy stuff going on. Good news. I got a letter from the medical center I go to saying that they have unclaimed property. Overpaid funds. Over $600 from me to potentially claim? I don't know where these windfalls are coming from, but I'll take it. Also, I have shifts at my new store in two weeks. Chronic. What the heck? That's incredible news. Hey, enjoy. you better treat yourself to something really nice. Was 600? That's amazing. Was there trauma, by the way? Um, you can barely hear the child speak when it when they talk because uh, the, the audio is bounced like shit in this. And there's only one volume slider. There's no thing to separate the voice and the music. Um, it, it was about some family stuff that I don't really want to repeat because it was kind of heavy. But it was basically just about them not getting along with their family very well. Yeah, $600 is $600 for sure. My wedding dress? Oh my god, I love that for you. That's beautiful. We better get uh, pictures of the wedding dress, by the way. Very envious, by the way. I want, I, I've told you guys, one of the things I want to do is do a wedding dress cosplay at some point. Morgan and I, when we go thrifting, we look for them there every time. Uh, but it's hard to find them. If I'm being so entirely honest, I kind of miss the music. Those first three notes hit hard. That's our G note chat. Is the only up music. Oh, brings back such good memories. 
Yes, Brian? Yeah, I, we find a lot of bridesmaids' dresses, but not a lot of bridal wear. Always, always the bridesmaid, never the bride. God damn it, this is a huge windmill. Holy shit, think about the size of this. That's bigger than, like, the skyscrapers up there. What the hell? That's crazy. It's a lot. Hey, someone's uh, satellite dish cable is about to get knocked out. An electric box. I'm sure that's very safe to climb as well. Oh, good. We got some of the Bennett the Foddy wind effect. Which port he is sailing to. No wind will be a tailwind. Are you fucking kidding me, game? You got a wind quote during the windmill segment? A little on the nose, don't you think? That's definitely like... Ah, uh, maybe that's not New York City. That could be some like random ass made up futuristic one. Could be Rio. I don't know, I've never been. You may have to go to a bridal shop to look at their sales rack. Oh, man, I, it would be a lot of money to do that is the problem. Yeah, the moon is huge in this game, Brookie. Oh, it's smaller when you're up here for some reason. Probably because they don't have a scaling asset properly placed. And we got that mountain range in the back. There's a lot going on. Skyscraper, will we get to know her? I hope. My wedding dress was a bridesmaid dress because fuck conventional dress. That's fair. I, I respect you for that. I just always have loved the, like, veil and the pretty white flowing gown. And I've always wanted one. She's running away from us. <laughs> Uh, y'all get more than just pics. Y'all are getting a link to the private YouTube stream. Oh my god, that's right. You did mention that. That's so cute. I freaking love that. Thank you. It's so nice of you. Okay, this is scary. Here we go. Gamer time. Concentration mode activated. Oh, I did it. Oh! No! No! No, this game will not tilt me. Okay. We got a bed here for some reason? Where's this enemy? Holy shit. Where are you sending me? Oh, brother, this guy <laughs> Ecto. Come on now. Whoa, what? Why? Where did that bed send me? I wasn't paying attention. We're back at the train cars. I got distracted by the sound. I was reading chat because I thought it was just going to... All the other beds send you to a place automatically. Where you land in a safe spot. That one was a troll bed. What the fuck? Oh my god. Bruh. Yeah, god, that, that, this was a bra moment for sure. My dress is going to be very unconventional, but also very me. I love that. Represent yourself in it. All right, at least this part seems easier. Like all these rage games, these parts now seem a lot easier. Oh my god. Why did that happen that way? How did this happen to me? I made my mistakes. Oh god damn it. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We can see the attack on Titan City down below. <laughs> This game, dude. I swear. I swear to Christmas, Kringle. Can we also get one more round of pride and hype spam for all the freaking generosity on the channel? Always. Go, streamer, go. I'm trying to stream. Trying to do it. Okay. Did that. Feel so bad? No, that's fine. That's, that's on me. That is my ADHD being like, ooh, shiny thing going on. I should look at it. And also for, on me for trusting a troll game. So that really doubly isn't on you. La 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 Jaeger. That's the only word I know in the whole intro song. There's season one of Attack on Titan. They say Jaeger. Very on the nose. Means like warrior in German or something. And then uh, Aaron Jaeger is literally the protagonist's name, right? So... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we all know it's uh, Mikasa's story, really. She's the best. It's a new voice act, voice yelling in Brian's ears. <laughs> Attack on Titan theme song still goes so high. It kind of does, though. Uh, if I was to share the dress I want to get in the Discord, uh, wholesome, wholesome content would be great. 
We should, um, actually, I should talk to the mods over there about, we should do, like, um, we should get a, a one of the, a new chat room in there that's a, like, today's fit or something, or, like, showing off your fit. Just call it, like, the drip. Community drip. Something weird like that. I, I'll, I'll come up with something with them. I think it'd be sick. Where people can just show off clothes and, like, their outfits. I think that'd be neat. Because, like, here's... Yeah, just, like, the... Like, show off people's drip. Right? Because here's the thing. Yeah, it could go in wholesome... Uh, uh, or I touch grass right now, for sure. But it doesn't really encompass it. And a lot of people love showing off... Um, uh, their, their outfits. I mean, if you guys remember Gerb Prom, that was a big aspect of Gerb Prom. Was people just showing off their fit. And I love that. That was awesome. I don't think you were supposed to fall there in that way, but it, uh, the way you fell made it glance off the safe landing thing. Oh, you arced instead of rising. Yeah, I feel like... Um, I don't know what it is about this game. I don't know. I don't... It's not the... It's not the stock Unity assets. It's not the weird collision that's already been coded in this game. It's not the weird music that and, and, vo and TTS voice acting because they didn't want to pay an actual voice actor. It's, it's something about it. It's not the weird sketchy dev. Something about it that makes me think that maybe some of the gameplay elements aren't going to be great as we continue on. Uh. See, sin, das, essen, don't even make me read. I'm gonna, I'll barf. I'll, I'm just butchering this. They, it's what they say during that line. They are the food and we are the hunter. Oh, I kind of like that. Very thematically on point. We could add a channel. Thank you, Corey. Don't, uh, don't worry about doing it now or anything if you don't want. Please don't, uh, stress yourself. You deserve to relax. Watch the chaos unfold here. Oh, God, I hate this game. That, it's weird because sometimes he almost doesn't mantle. Then other times he mantles surfaces that very clearly, like, from a coding aspect, he probably shouldn't be. There's, like, no, like, solid edge for him to grab. But $600 in clothes in the last two months. I've got a lot of fits to show up. Hell, yeah! Listen, Bree, same, though. I probably have... Maybe more women's clothes than I have men's clothes now. Most of it, though, I get from thrifting or, uh, like, really good discounts on, on sites. Trying to pare down my stuff so that moving's easier. Yeah, that's that's the other part of it, right? Is It's almost a blessing in some ways that what has happened financially to me recently um, has slowed me down a bit. So I can't move right now because it's going to give Morgan and me a lot more time to get her house in order here uh, so that it, the move is easier. Hey, what's up, Carl? Carl Marx is there yet again. But I feel you. Sometimes it just, you know, the Marie Kondo minimalism sounds kind of nice every now and then. Double dealing disarray. Hello. Hi. Why, why Heights? Uh, it's a game called Only Up. It's like the current like streamer content game. It will be forgotten about probably in like a week is my guess. Um, but it's like a, a, a sort of 3D getting over it with Bennett Foddy style game, except just really poorly made. It's, it's dog shit, but it's hilarious at the same time. But welcome to the internet. I said that like Bob Earnham, so I had to... I had to say it that way, all the way. Yeah, Corey Preesh. Thank you so much, Corey. Work at Zoomies now, and my uh, old spile behind the counter is a discount sort of blessing. I feel you. Recondoing is hard, though, because a lot of my shit sparks joy. I just forget. True. And that's why it, it, differentiating between, um, you know, does it still bring you joy? but cause a little bit of extra clutter and like is it just clutter is really important if it still sparks joy it's still a sentimental value if it's still something you use occasionally you just forgot to use for a while but you're like oh i have so many fond memories of this or i love this thing i just forgot that i owned it i should use it more then absolutely keep that shit absolutely do it for you let you do it for you you know 
I'm going to have a heart attack watching you with the heights. There are other streams on if you do not like this, because this is pretty much all you're going to see. I'm going to warn you ahead of time. Also, weirdly heavy trauma in the lore, which they didn't need to add. They didn't even have to add any lore. People would have just played this because it's just chaotic. But the fact that it's telling a story through, like, the weird areas you go to is so bizarre. Also, the up house is in this. I can't wait till we get back to the up house because, wow, that was a moment. That was a moment. Yeah, Kumi. I like lore. It's, yeah, it's, uh, it's something. Sounds a little bit like... They might have might have saved it for last during the development process, but it's there. It kind of exists in some capacity. The up house was the moment of all time. It truly, the moon is bigger down here. Yeah, isn't it so weird how it does that? That's so funny. It's a game. All right, we're back to Brooklyn, baby. Hey, yo, you want a New York hot dog, Chet? New York slice of pizza? You want to hit up Gray's Papaya for a hot? Too bad. We're in Brooklyn. We got to go to Manhattan for that stuff. Yeah, including lore, but not having subtitles. Yeah, very interesting choices all around in this game, honestly. Okay, first time that crouching was actually useful in the game. Now I have to remember to look up because there's a drain pipe that I escaped to. Here we are in the really creepy area that looks like a horror game. For looks like that was just ripped out of like Silent Hill or something. We're back. We're we're back. We're at the up house. Uh, hello. Huh. Uh. <laughs> now where did it lead you? Back to me. We can't just have a silent protagonist. That would never work. <laughs> yeah. No games have ever worked with a silent protagonist. A long list of games that have worked with the silent protagonist appears. Huh? Nani? We are so back, guys. We're so fucking back. Here we go. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. One. Nothing wrong with me. Two. Nothing wrong with me. Three. Nothing wrong with me. Four. Nothing wrong with me. One. Something's got to give. Two. Something's got to give. Three. Something's got to give. Ow. Let the body hit the floor. Oh! Don't fall. <laughs> floor corn. <laughs> Not me, the fuck? Yeah, back streets, back. All right. Kind of the same song. For sure. I can only count to four. I can only count to four. I can only count to four. I, I actually love that version, unironically. Hello? Little man with a little hand. Oh, oh yeah. Climb the back of the scoop. That physically makes sense. He's T-posing. This game's coded so well. Incredible. I love that I've arrived to funny singing. Yamanaka, hello, hi. You've arrived to funny everything, because this game made me crack up earlier. <laughs> With that, just how fucking bad, <laughs> like a little effort the devs put into this. It's just really weird. I don't fully understand what I'm doing. This game, amazing. I almost walked out this. That would have been a Looney Tunes moment. <laughs> that would have been amazing. Uh, I got to see uh, Psycho Stick live last year for my birthday. It was incredible. I bet, actually. I want an unhinged mashup of Backstreet's Back and let the bodies hit the floor. That would be incredible. W code moment. This game, amazing peak. Nothing better. Yeah, zero notes. To be fair to musicians, do they really need to count more than four? Only if the time signature calls for it. But normally, yeah, it can be mathematically broken back down to something else. All right. I, I love the, like, random amb like ambience. Like the construction workers in the background going, Yo! Hey, I'm constructing over here! Oh, I didn't... I didn't mean to... 
whiff that. I meant to actually jump, but he didn't jump. Why did you not jump, young man? Young man! Da -da 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 -da. I said, young man! What the? Bro, do not. What? Hello? Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. Young man! Oh wait, the up house. This is where I go. This is the right way. It's fun to stay at the... Why do I turn into like an 89-year-old man when I get scared? Hello? Is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your ass. I can see it in your soul. I age 300? Oh, at least. Yeah, this is why we have Gerber Umer emotes. For sure. For sure. And 20 years ago, I played only up and almost had a heart attack on stream. Here we go. On the road again. You just can't wait to get back on the road again. Back to China shipping. Does that imply that they are a company based out of China importing goods from China? Or is it a place that only sends things to China? I really, I want the, de I want the lore here. Why isn't it like... Garbalal. My father also worked at a shipping company called Chining China Shipping, where we made shipments for Wish.com. Use code 50 off for 50% off your Wish.com order today. Like that, That's what should happen. You're Beagley the musical? What can I say? I'm in a silly, goofy singing mood. What, do you want silence? You want me to play this like some streamers do? Guaranteed. I, I bet you guys uh, 50 gifted subs that there is someone who has played this game Alert! like this the whole time. Uh, so really cat, thanks for the raid. You came in during a bit, so I'm sorry, raiders, um, you're gonna have to deal with this bit for a second. Yeah, and here's the thing. They probably have more viewers than me, too, doing that. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Welcome on it. Yeah, Cerule, how was your stream? Yeah, the speedrunners make this look easy. I was told that uh, 23 minutes is, like, the world record right now. Uh, and I said that person's either on a list or they they need a job, like, a real job to, like, pull them away from their computer. It's, uh, just break up the day a little bit. Thank you very, very, very much for the raid. I hope that you had a great stream. What were you up to? What were you doing? Over in your corner of the internet, please let us know. I fucking, this game is a mess. It's a bunch of stolen assets, stock Unity assets, stock Unity music, uh, bad TTS voice acting so that you didn't have to hire a voice actor, um, and then a clusterfuck of a story. It just, it's, I, I, 
I told chat as we were playing this, this train area specifically, that I just fell down <laughs> to from the up house up there. Uh, that I, it feels like, um, I, thank you for the fart, by the way. That I, I feel like I'm back in college and I just did like a fucking handful of shrooms. And then this came out. I, I, I probably, I experienced less of this on shrooms than whoever made this game did probably dead sober. Wild. You played Killer Frequency? You know, a lot of people told me that's really good. I, I accidentally ruined part of it uh, the other night watching... Or I, was that last night, chat? See, this is why it's fine that I watched Jordan play it a bit. It's because I know my memory's so bad, I'm just gonna fucking forget everything that happened in, like, a month. And then we'll be able to play... Um, killer Frequency on this channel if you guys want me to. Alright, that's that last jump right there, that's always the one that messes me up, so that was good. I think we're we're smooth sailing now. Thank you, uh, Wolfer, for the raid. How is your stream? What were we up to? How you do? Anyone joining the stream? Here, I, I, let me be nice. I, I got caught up in my bit there. Hello, hi. Welcome to the stream. If you're here from a raid, please read the rules so you don't get timed out by me, a mod, or a night bot. We'd hate to have that happen since we're having, like, a great time here tonight just vibing, uh, making jokes. Uh, just sharing stories, etc. Um, thank you very, very much for being here. Uh, my name is Brian, a.k.a. Gerbigli. I'm a Korean-American full-time Twitch partner, YouTuber, voice actor. I do a little bit of everything from AAA games down to indies. I open up Pokemon cards. I do cosplay. You name it. If you're here for that, thank you so much for joining our humble little community. Thanks to everyone who's followed tonight. Uh, if you haven't already... Uh, that's A-OK. -okay. I'm not going to take that personally. Uh, there's literally thousands of people on the internet, and you're not going to vibe with everyone's energy. I'd rather you pull the plug rather than have me have to kick you out later if we if we don't get along, you know? Um, but hello. Hi. Welcome. Welcome on in. Uh, Wolfer, how is your stream? Let us know all about it. Excited for you to play Killer Frequency. Yeah. Seems It seems interesting, honestly. So I like the concept of it. I do. I don't do well with horror games, but I've been told I could probably handle that one. So, that makes me pretty happy. Okay, that's actually the jump that normally screws me up, so that was well done me. Freaking pro at this part of the game since we've fallen down here so many times. This really is the Bargainburg. Like how um, Jump King had his, has Bargainburg, and I kept falling down to that when we were playing Jump King last. That This is the Bargainburg of like the train area is. Cause this is this is just where I keep returning to. I've done this exact sequence eighty times. Oh my god. The fact that he doesn't always col the collisions are so bad in this game. It's coded just so poorly. I watched uh Gab Smolders play it. I was just like who's Gam? <laughs> I've watched Gam Gam uh play that game. Gam Gam loved the killer frequency. She guessed, she watches murder she wrote, so she knew exactly who the killer was right away. Gam Gam. It was easy for her. She grew up reading Nancy Drew books. She knew immediately. Gam Gam. All right, back to the crash test dummy factory, I guess. Uh, there's a horror game called Karaoke. Um, yeah, I'm never playing that. I'm, I'm never playing that. It's great that Sean played it. Cool. If he's comfortable playing that game, I already know the uh, the heavy content in that game. That's never going on this channel, ever. I, I talked about that during St. Jude Month when we were picking out the other Chilla's Art games. We will eventually finish the closing shift. We'll do uh, radio, the radio or whatever the hell it is. Um, and... We'll definitely do the convenience store, whichever other one I bought. I, we bought three, but yeah, not the murder she wrote. I love it. Yeah, it's a great show. I did say that it was bad. Wasn't there a new Chills game, or did I dream that up? Karaoke was the last one I knew that came out, and it was really divisive. So the the uh, content in that is. Not my favorite being added to the horror genre. 
Um, not Visage Shame. Yeah, Visage is never, ever happening. I will do every other game that we played during May. I promise you. Then I, I, I had to do this because this is just the content game of the moment on, on Twitch. I had to play the Silly Streamer game. This is so pertinent to the fact that we just did Jump King. You guys have watched me play a million of these Rage games. I had to try this. Oh my god, glitching through the ground, dude. This had to happen tonight. Lily, hey, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Good to see you here. Hello, hello. Welcome to um, an acid trip. This is... Uh, this is every time I accidentally had contaminated drugs in college. The game. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a time. If you don't like heights, big warning. Uh, it's it's a game called Only Up. So you're you're just gonna see higher and higher heights. So it's it's a lot going on. Why does he run? What? Why is the camera so weird? It like uh, 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 undulates. Uh. There's a weird. I gotta stop making weird hand motions on camera. I've made- Why? You also get caught in- You can get stuck in that. Strimmer may not be high, but the game is. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you guys always hit me with Gurr Belief and, and, and tell people that I'm high all the time. I'm not high tonight, but the game is, is doing the heavy lifting on that. There's a new Chilla Art game coming out this year. I think we talked about it during the Chilla Art tier. Parasocial and you play- It's called Parasocial and you play as a live streamer. Ew, that's a little bit too close to home. Someone who's literally been doxxed before and had fans stalk me at conventions. Tried to find my hotel room. That's that's kind of funky. Good lord. That looks like the previous level. It all kind of blends in at some point. It, it's all just... This is this is the, the construction zone. We were just at the railroad... Oh my god, I almost did the same thing I did the first time where he hits the wire and that's enough to knock you off the side. Ah, god, I hate that. Chilla's art game that came out a few days ago too, Night Security. Ooh, that one sound, that, that could be interesting. I, I just have to look up a list of warnings, content warning stuff. I, I, I don't want to expose... Here's my thing. Content warnings and like heavy... Again, you guys don't get baby gloved here, but there's certain types of content I just don't want to have on the channel. So, why are you mad? Stop free! <laughs> that, that said, if, uh, if I am okay with the content in the streamer game, I might play it just because, come on, it's made for streamers to stream about streaming. Come on. That's, it's so meta, I have to do that, right? But yeah, there's, um... Basically, if you guys can't pick up what I'm I'm saying, I'll, I'll just say it outright, because, again, we're not baby-gloving here this year. Uh, anything dealing with, like, sexual assault stuff, I do not want on the channel, ever. Uh, I'm going to spare this community of that. There, there's so... There, it's just... There's... It's just too fucked up. Um, it's not scary from that. It's just awful. Uh, so... That is... It's just... it's That's way too triggering. There's some stuff, like, we've, we've dealt with, like, racial shit here before. We've dealt, like, you know, like, I'm a POC. I, I deal with that every day. Um, we've, we've dealt with, you know, substance, uh, you know, misuse themes. We've, we've dealt with uh, familial abuse, that kind of thing. Stuff that that's relatable, um, but normally can, uh, either the depictions of it aren't, ultra violent or aren't ultra triggering it, it's stuff we get to talk through together it's stuff that we can handle as adults together um anything that is a violation of another human being in the most disgusting terrible way I don't, I don't even want to read descriptions of it so we we stay away from that here um that is there's a reason that i i just stay away from that kind of content so uh if people are cool with that I, i'm glad uh, but that, yeah, that's why, sorry if you haven't played karaoke, by the way. <laughs> um, but I, maybe that's a good heads up for you. But, yeah. 
Um, and, and, you know, I'm sure Sean did a fine job with, like, content warnings and stuff like that. He's, he's normally fairly mindful about a lot of that stuff. But I will personally not uh, expose people to that stuff if I have a choice in the matter. And unfortunately, because that game, when I was doing the Chilla's shopping, I, I saw the list of warnings on it. Uh, I was like, oh, yeah, no, that's not that's not for us. Thanks for the heads up. I still haven't seen people play it. Yeah. He's grimacing most of the time playing. It is a really uncomfortable game from what I know, but all of their games are very uncomfortable. I want Closing Shift really freaked the shit out of me. I can't wait to get back to that. Going to go to bed now. Bree, take care. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Thanks for your jokes. Good vibes that you brought here tonight. Meant a lot. I watch karaoke. I'm mad that the guy I watched uh, never mentioned anything as a content warning. Usually he's good with it. That's a bummer. That is a bummer. Sometimes it's like um, one of those things where it's like they leave it up to their editor. And like the editor just accidentally forgets to put it in there. And and I understand that. But like, again, I, I'd rather not even risk having that type of thing in the uh, on the channel. That's my, my one limit, pretty much. Bummer, I hardly... <laughs> Thank you for bringing some levity to the situation here, Bree. Wonderful. Appreciate you. Take care. All right. Okay, 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 okay. We got past that part. That's where I fell when uh, Cerule raided, I think. game really makes you second guess your platforming skills i'm i grew up playing platformers i'm like really good at them like genuinely that's not like a uh me saying this for content for when i mess up it's like funnier or something and it's not like me bragging it's just an objective fact i my first game i ever got to play was uh well besides pong on my cousin's atari was super mario brothers on the nes and i played that forever uh, and then I, I got Super Mario Brothers 3, and I would beat that over and over again. And then Super Mario Brothers World, I can pretty much speed run at this point for Super Nintendo. Uh, so, but this game, this game it, the, the, the wonky collision combined with the weird geometry of an architecture, combined with the, just the overstimulation of sensations. Like, there, there's just too much going on. This is just visually too overstimulating of a game for me. Um, and then sometimes auditorially as well. This just, just really makes me question, am I actually good? Oh my god, the NES. Ger Boomer, stop. <laughs> uh, Super Mario Brothers is my first game. It's a great game. It holds up. You're good at platformers because you have a platform. Oh god, streamer privilege. Just recently got a Master Ball on my Pokemon Go game. Also got the DVD movie, the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Cool! That's some good news there. Thanks for sharing that. Who built this? Um, I'm I'm guessing Cactus from the lore that's been sprinkled throughout this. Um, that this is a uh, manifestation of some, like, metaphysical manifestation of this kid's trauma and the struggles that he's faced. Uh, but, I mean, part of me goes, like, maybe he doesn't have any struggle. Maybe he accidentally ate the wrong kind of mushroom. Maybe maybe his buddy was like, hey, eat this candy. And it was like a, a blottered sheet of acid. Of LSD. I don't know. It was a pain getting the game to work on my mom's NES. That's so sad. You have to do the blow in the cartridge strategy, which they, they uncovered semi-recently doesn't actually work. There's a lore. Yes. This is uh, a game that... Oh! Fuck. Remember, I said, uh, goal tonight is I won't tilt. Until there's an invisible wall! There was an invisible wall that just pushed me? What? I might need to go grab a white claw for this one, chat. Actually, Morgan and I just bought these, uh... Look at this, guys. Untiltable tonight. Morgan and I uh, went to Aldi to buy some groceries, and they had 
So Aldi, if you guys don't know, the grocery store at Aldi is, like, fucking amazing. Probably the best deals right now in groceries. So, like, if you're looking to save money like me, it's perfect. Uh, and they have some pretty good stuff, too. Um, Overencumbered, hello, hi. <laughs> yeah, that was an awful moment, by the way, just falling like that. Um, but they, they have their own in-house alcohol now. <laughs> like, everything from, like, super hoppy IPA beer to... Stop! No! This is what I'm talking about! What are you doing? Climb! Thank you. To, uh, ciders. They have their own, like, White Claw-style seltzers. So I might try those soon, because it's like $13 for, like, 12 of them, of them. Which is a steal. Um. But, like, they have, uh... Prosecco? Prosecco. Uh, they have Prosecco that's pear-flavored, called Pear Secco. And Morgan and I bought some of that. Uh, and I, I was like, yeah, we gotta try that. I might grab one of those. I might try that. Narwhal, what's up? Hello, hi. Welcome to the stream. I can see the headline for the in-game lore now. 12-year-old child takes mushrooms given by a friend on a dare and climbs onto the roof. Claiming to be scaling a pile of trash in the sky. Yeah. Mmm, pear flavored. Yeah. Excited to try it, honestly. Very excited to try it. We have seen so much of this. Tra this is Bargainburg. This is just... Bar they, they played or watched Jump King, and they went, you know what would be neat? If, if there was a location that wasn't all the way on the bottom that rewarded the advanced players with not totally restarting, and it just made them start at, like... A semi-advanced point, but they're gonna see this part like every single time, like a thousand times. That's what happened in this. I would have preferred almost with that fall too, for them to have sent me just down all the way to the bottom. Because like, what what was that invisible wall shit? Just have it be a big abyss. Like commit to like messing up my progress game. Come on, don't be a little bit, don't be a little bit like freaking weak wristed with that shit. Come on, just go at me. All right. Come on, do it. Kill me now. You know, like uh, Arnold in the Predator movie. Just go go after me. Go for my jugular. Just give me the kiss of death. Say, hey, that's it for you. You thought you were good, but fuck you. Good luck redoing the last two hours of your life. You know? That's, that's the way it should be. That's the way it should be. All right. Oh god, okay, okay. What happens if I go that way? Oh, there's a bed that way. So the bed, the beds... Theoretically, I could use to springboard my way past all this shit again. But I feel like it would be hard, right? To, like, get over there? I feel like they, they make that a risk-reward thing, right? The whole game is fucking risk-reward. What am I talking about? Every jump you make is technically progress, but then also the worst thing in the world to do. Oh, you little boy. Thank you. You know what's so funny, chat, is you guys have heard me say, oh, you little boy, is like a I'm nervous moment phrase for so long. And now it actually applies. The circle is being fulfilled. The prophecy. Uh, Casper has come over to say hi. Hi, Casper! What happens if you fall the way? You just start over. Or you uninstall the game, you go... Uh, this is a shit experience. I'm going to give it a 0 out of 10 on Steam. Here we go. There we go again. Okay, Karl Marx, hey, what's up again? How's the manifesto coming? Still on Chapter 2? <laughs> Come on, man. Get your head out of the gutter and, and, and get going with that. You have comrades to save. That, also, the fact that this doesn't have controller support and this is all mouse and keyboard is actually a fucking nightmare. Not that I think that controller would make this any better. It might even make it worse. But, like, the fact it's not even an option is a little bit insane to me in 2023. But then again, it's a studio that stole assets from everything under the sun. So, who am I to say what was going through their heads? You know? Had a really rough few days, so if anyone has a spare good vibe laying around, I'd gladly take it. Oh, well, you know that that's all we're going to do here is 
is be here to hopefully give you some laughs, good chats, solid energy, you name it. Oh my fucking God, that was really scary. Sorry, I can't hear you over the factory chat. Those robot arms have been working on the same crash test dummy for a long time, too. Glitter Ashley, hello, hi. Entering stream to... Hey, Karl Marx, how's the manifesto coming? It's fucking wild. Welcome to 2023 streams on the Groove Eagle channel. You've been around long enough to know that we're constantly shifting what the hell we do. Tell the factory to shut up. Hope you're doing well, uh, Glitter Ashley. That's wild. <laughs> yeah, why is Karl Marx there? Why is he there? I don't know why I'm ever shocked by literally anything anymore. Yeah. Listen, people are like eating, like, you know, you, remember, you guys remember the show My Strange Addiction? It would be like, I pull the stuffing out of, like, couch pillows and eat it. That's My Strange Addiction. I'm going to talk about this for an hour and a half. You know? You know? Like... That, that that was weird shit back in the day. Now you have 22-year-olds on TikTok going viral for doing the same thing. just And not getting paid to be featured in a, like, what was that, TLC documentary? They're, they're just doing it. So nothing should surprise you ever. Also, I just noticed, wait. There's an NYPD cop car. Over there. First off, we have nothing that looks like this desert in New York State. Second of all, he's isolated over there, probably because of ACAB. So, see you, bud. The lady who ate her husband's ashes. Oh, yeah. Yep, that one was insane. Very weird show. But it was interesting, and they most of the things, even though they were kind of spectacle, right? Because there has to be entertainment value for the viewer, I guess. Um were pretty educational and normally did maybe not right by the person because again they're still profiting off of their like awful issues but like it did examine it from a fairly objective standpoint a lot of the times i feel like it was on like tiktok it's literally like just a kid that's like hey you guys want to watch me like drink half a gallon of of uh like um aquarium water that has like living creatures in it. Only educate edutainment, actually, glitter actually. You know? So And the lady that drank ga oh god you guys are literally just naming the most extreme ones too. Because those stuck out. Those fucking stuck out. Now you can see it any day of the week on TikTok. You can see that kind of shit. It's it's wild. So 2023, nothing surprises me anymore. I'm not like, oh my god. Like everyone's like keeping up with the submersible story, and they're like, this billionaire was an idiot and did this idiotic thing. And I'm like, wow, billionaires being an idiots in 2023? Might die for it? Hmm. Seems like universal uh, energy <laughs> took effect here a little bit. Not that I wish death on anybody, but it's also one of those, like, dude, you literally ignored safety protocol. You're a fucking moron. And you endangered other human beings for that. So, guy who liked balloons is how mom and I learned about a whole section of people. Yeah! Listen, it's Pride Month. We don't kink shame here. <laughs> but I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, balloon, the balloon guy was, uh, yeah, it was a lot. A dude fucked around and found out. Yeah, for real, though. The guy that was in love with inflatable animals. Yeah, and the guy who freaked with the scar. Yep. There was, a, there was a, quite a few things going on. On that show. But like I said, there, there was at least like a an earnest examination of those things. Your Beagley streams are constantly evolving for better or for worse. That's true. There's definitely moments where I'm like, I don't know why anyone watches this stream anymore. Why someone at Twitch mainframe hasn't like, like Twitch HQ hasn't been like, pull the plug. Show's canceled. It's over. What the fuck is going on? Like I said, this game in, being played in the background while we have these conversations. Like it's a fucking uh, Subway Surfers TikTok. Well, I'm like, did you guys know 
that in the state of Indiana, 2,000 people were massacred because they ran out of hot dogs at the stadium in 1963. Why are you sliding? Why, why are you stuck in the metal? Why are you fusing? You're not a Transformer. You're the Shia LaBeouf character, bro. Come on. You're not Optimus Prime. We even had Twitch staff lurking a couple streams recently. Yeah. It's just been like two or three streams Twitch staff has been lurking. And I don't know why, and it makes me nervous. Maybe he's a Transformer. Hey, happy Pride to him, then. There's not enough st stimulation. I also need one of those sand evening videos and the clay cracking. <laughs> it's true. I have to um, accommodate for the Zoomer Mines. Oh, wait, that's right. Why was I trying to climb that anyway? Chat, I do that every time. You actually go this way to get to the up house. It's the house from up, definitely with Disney's permission. I guess balloons on houses, they could theoretically make the argument, aren't the most original thing. That's like something like a five-year-old would be like, I bet if you connected enough balloons to the house, it would fly. Like, that, that probably has happened. So... <laughs> Carl Fredrickson, what are you doing over there? Right? Isn't that wild? They just blatantly have this shit on here. All right, we're again, we're like back to where we were almost. This is insane that this is happening. It's still the house from out. Yeah, really, like, like square inch for square inch is literally the fucking house from up. Oh, God. All right, we're back to China shipping again. I, ri I just wish I knew. I wish I knew what they did. It was the only time I wish that the lore voice was back. TTS, someone donated 1,000 bits to me. My grandfather founded a shipping company called China Shipping. We actually had nothing to do with the country and only shipped flatware used for fancy dining. Like that, give me something, you know? Thank you uh, for the company while I reboot my PC and pray that my three hours of edits saved. Oh, no, that's a nightmare. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. Squeebles, welcome back. You have missed literally nothing because I lost, like, half an hour of progress. <laughs> Playing the world's friendliest game, only up. Where you only go up, obviously. Oh, the camera's so good in this game, too. As if there hasn't been enough things that are just so good about this game. The camera's so good about this game. Oh. Okay. Wow, look at that, chat. Almost completely without clenching. Almost completely without feeling like I'm about to let a giant... Dukums out in my pants. Oh. I'm actually surprised people haven't been redeeming more troll sound effects right now. Is it because you guys are just as curious as me to see what the hell is at the top of this? Because it's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's something. My booty hole clenched? Yeah, mine is constantly. It's just kind of been a Constant say, you guys ever heard of Kegels? <laughs> I'm curious, but also I'm broke from redeeming too many farts. Mm, that happens sometimes. You just keep farting, run out of gas. Truly can't be a top. We can uh, go only up. <laughs> Jesus God. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Chaotic, for <laughs> redeeming that. <laughs> oh, God. No tops. <laughs> no, it's pride. Everyone's equally represented this month. If you guys didn't know, we also have new sound alerts. I added two new ones. Uh, Brookie asked for... Oh, brother, this guy stinks! So you got that. So, And then you got a second SpongeBob one, which is... Uh, oh, boy, 3 a.m. From Patrick. So, there you go. There can't be that many tops in the group eagle community. What are you talking? What are you saying? 
This isn't a bottom commu the, the centric community? What are you trying to imply about my community? What are you what are you talking about? There's a, there's definitely some people with top energy here. What are you talking about? Now if you hit 3M, we can use that to let you know. So true, Brookie. Use it at 2 a.m. and say nothing. Fuck! Are we gonna land on this thing though? Oh, we kind of saved it. <gasps> Ooh, I kind of saved it. Uh, kind of saved it. Switch representation. <laughs> Th thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awooga. Awooga. I don't think I can make that jump from here, chat. I don't, I don't think I can get to that platform. So what's the point of these uh, random fucking places then? Things up here, gas tanks, whatever these are. Can I jump over to Carl? Carl? Oh, Carl! Fuck! Carl! Guys, we're in Bargain Burger again. Oh my god. I felt, I felt like I was, um, what's his face from fucking, uh, Walking Dead. Carl! Like season one and two. Carl! Carl! Rick. Yeah, thank you. That was far down. Yeah, it's, it, this game is shit. <laughs> this game fucking sucks. <laughs> I'm not getting tilted though. Carl! Uh, my favorite thing that came out of The Walking Dead was when that lip reading, uh, if you guys don't remember that channel. We're going to take a quick break here in a second um, to play this. But Bad Lip Reading did uh, a song called Carl Papa. And Carl Papa was a jam. That was a fucking bop. That song, even like eight years later, whenever that was made, gets stuck in my brain all the time. I love Carl Papa. The best thing. So good. High School Musical Bad Lip Reading. Oh, they're all so good. They were great. And then, the, like, the NFL partnered with them. Gave them, like, a budget to make them, which is, like, crazy. Yeah, Jiggy Jar Jar, dude. You know what I'm talking about, Brookie. It's it's all very good, if you guys haven't seen that. Uh, the One Direction one, called Shadow Pico, is also one of my favorites. Right, we're going we're to do, like, one more honest college try where we get back up to where we were before. Then, I, then I'm moving off this game, and we can watch some bad lip-reading videos before bed. Um, Royce, what up, dude? Hello, hi, thank you for the raid. Welcome on in. If you guys don't know, Royce Remix uh, is a fellow neat duder. Please go check him out. Thank you, Royce. How you doing? How was your stream? What were you up to? We're doing a, a game called Only Up, which is fucking atrocious. It's not bad enough that the gameplay is bad. Every asset in this game is stolen or Unity stock. And they use a TTS voice for the narration. And there's also, like, heavy trauma lore for some reason. There's a randomly out of the blue in this wacky, weird-looking game. They're like, by the way, my family's awful. Here are some ways that they abused me. And it's like, what the fuck? But all in the in the TikTok TTS voice. It's playing Satisfactory with Scarfy. Hey, that's great. I hope you had fun. If you guys, again, do not follow Royce. Please go give a, a warm... Warm, I was going to say warm welcome, but warm follow. We'll give a warm welcome as well. Royce, thank you so much for the raid. It's cool of you, man. Um, this game is basically, if, you, if you're familiar with getting over it with Bennett Foddy, it's that game, except like, uh, I don't know, a bunch of drunk Koreans made this. I'm allowed to say that because sometimes I'm a drunk Korean. Okay. Oh, I hate that jump. And then we have one more of those in the railroad section, and then we're... All right, we're going we're gonna to do the one last college try. The Star Wars Yoda song, a bad lip reading. Oh, God, I love it. I love that. So good. Uh, the, the, we, we might end up listening to, like, a bunch of my favorites this stream. Seagulls is good. Oh, that, okay, so that, that jump is the other really hard one. I, I got it. Um, I just got to have more faith in myself because I've done this section, like, eight times now. Uh, Bushes of Love, the other Star Wars one, really fucking good. Every day I worry all day. What's waiting in the bushes of love? 
I, I, I don't know why that's another melody that just gets constantly stuck in my head. Just crazy. <laughs> basketball, basketball, we love, yeah. Yeah, no, uh, the One Direction one that I was talking about called Shadow Pico when I was falling uh, is a masterpiece. Um, they basically edited a One Direction music video to be presented like a horror movie about an entity called Shadow Pico. Ooh, 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 is what they do in it, and it's it's amazing. I love it. So good. Sylvie, take care. Thanks so much for vibing. Thanks so much for the bits earlier. I really appreciate the support lately on the channel. Everyone's been ah mods. You can hit me with strike. Everyone's been way too kind. Genuinely, way too fucking kind. Way more than I could ever expect. Thank you so, so much for being so kind. I think the first bad lip reading um, video I watched was one of the football bits. Yeah, that, well, that's when a lot of people got into it because the NFL was like, hey, we will pay you money, bad lip reading YouTube channel, to make NFL bad lip readings. And then they like, made Tom Brady like a whiny little baby. So it wasn't really a bad lip reading, it was actually just a paraphrase. Just him being like, oh, man, the football fell down the hole. You know, like, stuff like that. Best bad lip reading is Seagulls, and we all, yeah, I mean, we're, we'll be watching that for sure. The Twilight bad, um, Morgan and I still quote the first Twilight bad lip reading to each other all the fucking time. Uh, anytime either of us says, just says the word fish, we do the line, you punch a fish, you, or, it's like, yeah, I think no, it's, I you punched a fish, Breath you slapped it, you hit it. I wanted sushi. Uh, same with the word cake. That's a, that's a mnemonic that activates something in our brain. Glitter Ashley, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Royce. Royce, enjoy my emotes and sub badge. Hopefully I'm not incredibly problematic within the next month so that you can continue to use those. But thank you very, very much to both of you for being here. Thank you. Um... The word cake? I mean, we're going to watch these in a second, so I probably don't have to, like, describe word for word. But that scene, uh, that really famous scene. Um, <laughs> thank you, Dave Rick. Yes, that, that balanced the scales a bit. Uh, where it's Edward and Bella in the woods, and she's like, I know what you are. Yeah, you slapped the fish. You punched it. Why would you hit it? I wanted sushi. Um, yeah, it's the scene where they're, she's like, I know what you are. Say it. Vampire. Uh, that they redo that scene in Bad Lip Reading where he's like, what did you eat today? Yeah, uh, just a piece of cake. Cake? So every time Morgan and I talk about cake, we're, cake? That cake was my most bestest creation. Why, why do you have to go eat it? It's, it's so good. It's so good. It's so funny. I can't wait to stop playing this absolute piece of shit. And but guys, also, you know the only the only thing I know about this game from what I read on the Steam reviews, by the way, it does not have a save feature. So if I want to like be like oh, fuck this fucking game, and we're gonna just only watch bad lip reading the rest of the night. I, it's, it will start me from the very beginning. This game is uh, like when you get bad food poisoning and you're just puking and shitting your pants. I'll say it. It's a B. Yeah, no save. You have to do it in one go. I don't even think we've seen the top. Or even what's considered the, like the end of the lore in the game. Holy shit. Like, dude, look at that. Like, I slid... Along the side, uh, along the corner there? That was weird. I know I made that jump. All right, this time don't go all the way to the top because I have to go to the up house. <laughs> Better than the out house. Although we've climbed some of those as well. Every day I'm, I worry all day about what's waiting in the bushes of love. Waiting in the bushes for us. We haven't made it to the lady yet? Wait, there's a lady? I'm gonna say it. I don't care that you broke your elbow. What an iconic 
fucking just boss. <gasps> I just freaked myself out so much. I jumped the opposite way and undid progress. That was wild, chat, and I still saved it. I still saved it. Because that just what oh, pros like me do. You know, it's like what Jason Sully says. Pros don't fake. There's a giant lady? Wait, what? At least Bennett Foddy had areas that were essentially checkpoints. There was a whole another sort of inability. But yeah, they're totally different mechanics. Way better built game, also. <laughs> this game is just... Uh, I feel like I feel like some like sixteen year old Korean overachiever like made this, and then his, he's like, my dad owns a game publish, publishing company, and he's just gonna let me make this. We're back at the up house. Yep. Yeah, the cinder blocks suck, Slade. That is one of my that's my second least favorite part. Giant woman, Steven Universe. I don't see guys. I haven't even watched Steven Universe yet. Um. A lot of people who have been here in the community for a while can attest that they've been hounding me for like eight years to watch it. But I know the giant woman reference. Gurbigui stream culture is pinching the bridge of your nose and breathing out like a disappointed father at some shit, Brian says. Actually, you haven't even been around for some of the stuff I've said. <laughs> you haven't even been around for the, the things. Me and Jordan both. Yeah, Jordan's just copying me. You guys know that. That's that's. You guys think that's a bit that I've been doing for, for months or whatever? No, Jordan. Jordan steals everything from me. That's that's a canon event. So so next time you see him stream, just know that uh, he already watched like a pre-recorded private vod that I sent him. I was like, hey dude, do you think this would go go over well with my community? It's like, oh, I don't know, man. You should probably tweak some stuff. And then he did that. He did what I had planned for stream on his stream. It was very, just really, really very uh, deceptive of him. So just keep that in mind when you watch his content. You're actually supporting a, a fraud. So just keep that in mind. So, watch the first two episodes. Honestly, couldn't get into it. Of Steven Universe? I, don't, I still haven't been saying you're going to watch Steven Universe for years. Yes! That's why I admitted that. Why did you say that? that? Like, that was a different sentence than what I said. <laughs> I, I have not had the time to invest in the 900-episode Cartoon Network show. I'm sorry. Someday I will. I'm, I'm getting through One Piece. That's a feat all of its own. I love One Piece. It's fun. It's silly. It's simply just acknowledging it. It's true. <laughs> Being in this chat is like being Steven to me. It's happy to be here. Well, I'm glad I'm glad you enjoy your time here. We uh you know we're we're very much a combination of two energies. Hey, pull up a chair. Feel welcome. Enjoy your time. And and fuck it, we ball. This game is a fuck it we ball game while we've been having like chill conversation, which is I, I told you guys, I promised you I was not going to tilt. Because after, after playing Jump King within the past month, nothing can fucking shake me. Like, genuinely nothing can shake me <laughs> compared to that. Need to finish it. I only watched about half of Steven Universe before life got in the way. Yeah, it's a long-ass show, right? I said the same thing earlier today to someone else. I still haven't seen Steven Universe. I've heard a lot of the music. It's so good. Yeah, I like the music a lot. Adventure Time was the same kind of show. Like, Morgan and I were deep into Adventure Time. Like, deep to the point where, like, we dressed as uh, Fiona and Marshall Lee uh, one Halloween. Years back. And the music of that show fucking sl Like, even though we stopped watching it, I can't remember in which season. Um, the music of that show was so good. The soundtrack was just so wonderful. So good. It's a heavy show as it gets later on, but I think a lot of what they address is important. I've heard that much Twilight. I've heard that um, both Steven Universe and Adventure Time um, aged up with their demographics, with like their uh, core audiences, and started off as these sort of lighthearted, 
overly friendly, warm shows and kept that wholesomeness throughout, but then addressed things that were important for like young adults to hear uh, and were pertinent to the age groups of the people who had grown up with the show instead of catering to a, a juvenile audience over and over again the way that a lot of cartoons do. Um, and I, I, I love that era of cartoon, honestly. I, I think that's great. I think that's really cool. Um, I'll say this. Uh, like, we, we watched long enough to f- to find the origin of the Ice King, and we both sobbed during that stuff. They're both from that age-old era of Cartoon Network, letting shows find their footing in the first season before telling the story they've always meant to. Absolutely, Daybreak. And that's the thing that's so disappointing about, like, Warner Brothers canceling so many shows even before they launch now. Just such a bummer. Um, because they, they were kind of just weird. They just were what they were, and then they, like, turned into something with, like, a message and, like, a point. My only issue is a 180 turn at some point about a plot line that felt really disappointing to me, but I still love the show. That's too bad. I like that regular show kind of did that too, but also kept it decently light at the same time. Yeah, I've heard regular shows really good as well. It's nice. So um, I, I don't pay for the new Max app, right? Uh, one of my friends actually shares his password with me, which is freaking fantastic. So what a, what an MVP baller for that. Because, uh, like, fuck big companies subscription service shit um but i uh i have access to all the cartoon network shows through it so if i want to watch a bunch of these shows that people have been telling me for years to watch i can do that which is really cool uh and then i've I've mainly just been using it to watch river monsters again though because that is like one of my favorite comfort shows of all time the last movie for steven universe had me bawling oh yeah i forgot that uh and not like bawling Fallen, but you what the what the fuck is this animation i'm trapped in all right wait wait wait. we're back we're, we're back down to the bed platform let me pay attention to where the hell this sends me though this isn't not all hope is lost chat yeah hell yeah river monsters i'm jeremy wade biologist an extreme angler i fucking love this is the best intro of any show all right you guys shouldn't be spending your money on monthly subscriptions to giant corporations. You should be spending it on your favorite streamers so that they can... What the shit? Do stupid things like that? What the hell was that collision? This kid has so much bodily trauma now. Spend it on your favorite streamers so that we can get to 350 organic stream, uh, subs and then finally have a 70-30 split. On our channels. You know what really blows, chat? Yeah, the collisions in this is rough. At least it's not the train again. That's true. That's why I'm not giving up yet. I know we're excited to watch some bad lip reading, but this is not the train. You know what sucks? Hey, what's up, Musi? Collision, I hardly knew her. <laughs> um, We're at 390 right now. Did we say around here we're golden? Uh, unfortunately not the case, Brookie. So, um, let me explain that really quick for those of you who, who missed out on that news. So, it was like a doomsday thing for a lot of streamers. For me, I'm like, yeah, it fucking sucks that it's like sort of an unobtainable goal for a lot of people. But at least they're now being transparent about shit. Mika, hello. Brian, are you the one friend I have faith in beating this game? Wait, you are the one friend? Uh, Mika, we've been in the train area for like two hours of this three and a half hour stream. I've fallen off that windmill like six times. Mika, how are you? Hello. If you guys don't follow my lovely, amazing friend, RIP Mika there in the chat, you better be doing so. Genuinely one of my favorite people to ever walk this planet. That is not an exaggeration. Mika and I have had so many amazing heart-to-hearts that like only them and I can have. And it means the world because I feel so validated talking to them. Um, so please go drop a big old follow on on meekster on r.i.p michael michael it's your birthday today cake and ice cream is on its way um but uh yeah r.i.p mika did boxing and looked so tough and cool doing it so well said daybreak why does he just climb things sometimes Eh, i got bored i I, i'm i'm an ipad kid i need to be moving my body doing something weird and distracting i guess is what this guy says Stop T-posing and get off. Oh my god, did we just get stuck? Holy god in the... Christ. 
Thank you. Jesus. I like that this is very clearly like a Caterpillar or like John Deere tractor and it says like Diter on it or some made up brand. Incredible. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, okay. So a lot of you guys might not know because you're not streamers or like um, you missed the news because like there was a lot of disinformation and people who didn't know what the fuck they were talking about, which is very often the case. We had a lot of pandemic streamers popping off about it who have never run a business in their life and that bothered me. Um, but, and it, it does suck. Don't get me wrong. 350 is a big number. And it looks like we have that right now, right? We don't. Because it's not 350 total, which I hope becomes the standard eventually. Because that, that's fairly easy for us to obtain because we've been at that for years, right? It's 350 organic. So... Glitter Ashley, thank you so much for the bits. Uh, very nice bits. I gotta add a 69-bit notification. Um, ha get some great sleep. I hope that your uh, computer <laughs> works and is okay. You don't like Prime Sub? Yeah, Prime Subs don't count, and uh, Gifted Subs don't count. Uh, it's 350 organic. Uh, it has to be um, individual subs. It has to be people who are like, I became a tier one sub naturally. So it has nothing to do... Yeah, that's insane. Well, here's the thing. Chat, you know what really fucking pisses me off about that, though? Here, Here's a here's a quick little piece of gerbigly lore from, like, the 2018, 2019, 2020 heydays. Was, uh... I think it would be cool if they doubled it, but also allowed all subs to count. 700 subs, but gifted, and... Yeah, sub uh, son. Yeah, they would make so much money from sub with that. Absolutely, Mika. That'd, that'd be amazing thing and and i have a couple caveats in here first off that would be incredible and people were mad because they were like well what well, community my size will never hit that well you don't know that and tomorrow you could go fucking viral for eating a booger on stream i don't know people have that happen to them all the time um but like it's one of those things where naysaying and them being transparent about what the parameter is is kind of silly because now you actually have a goal to grind for. Because normally you get the partner badge. And there, there's literally nothing to work for. It does not matter that you hit the achievement milestones in the dashboard. You're not getting more money for that. You're not uh, hitting a higher partner status or anything like that. Didn't realize it was non-gifted. Yep, non-gifted, non-primed. So it has to be 350 organic subs. Of 350 individual people using their own credit card to use to sub to a streamer, um, but a lot of people were mad and they were doomsdaying. They were like, "This is it. This is a fucking death of Twitch." And to be fair, Twitch is <laughs> in a PR hole right now. I haven't run a company in years, but I will tell you this much: they need to do PR damage control right fucking now. If su if September which is coming up in just a couple months, isn't fucking loaded with benefits for people who gift subs and streamers. That could be, at least from a PR marketing standpoint, the kiss of death for them. They need to fucking do September in a big way. It would be really easy for them to do it that way. Introduce maybe even some new parameters. Because here's the thing. I know a lot of Twitch ambassadors, and a lot of them have been popping off about talks they've been having. And they're like, people are so pissed off about this news, but we're not done yet. We are still in negotiations. Twitch ambassadors, uh, other streamers, Twitch reps, and execs are all in talks, and that's how we even got this much done. So there could be further talks where they do something like Mika's idea of like, oh, it's going to be 700 subs, but they can come from any source. Who knows? Maybe they already decided on that, and it's just down the line we'll find that out, and they just can't announce it yet because they're they're spacing it out for a more opportune PR moment. But Twitch needs to do something uh, to restore faith in the in the platform. Um, but it will be turn it will turn into pay to win that way. Um, what what does that mean? Pay to win. Twitch still makes money from that. It would be the same amount of money if they got those organic. That's not pay to win. That's that's just how subs work. This is a start. It's nice to see. Can't wait to see this more as it develops. And they work out the problems with it. Yeah. 
What 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 does Twitch lose if someone is being gifted subs? They would make a shit ton of money. It makes so much fucking money. You know how much chance? Do you know how much money I make from gifted subs? It would be so much money. Uh, hey, what's up, Lord Martini? You just got home from rehearsal. Well, welcome. Tech week scared my. Ass. Oh, you're in tech week. Good luck. Good luck. I, I, you shaved your eyebrows. Damn. Hey, sometimes we need a little bit of a shake up in the in the the look, right? Twitch would be making a very stupid business move if they keep this the way that it's always been. And the reason I say that it's always been this way is, guys, these parameters, this deal of 70-30 split has always existed. This is just the only time they've been transparent enough to share the parameters of it. Yeah, if someone wants to give themselves 700 subs a month for three months, that's the most ass-backwards way to get to 70-30. They wouldn't recoup the 50% loss from gifting themselves that many... Yeah. And, and Twitch would make a shit ton of money. They would love that. Pay to win would be excellent in their benefit. Absolutely. So that that argument doesn't make sense to me. Um, the thing that pisses me off, this is the, the caveat I have with this, is I have, uh, we maxed out, um, back, back when we were trying to earn another emote slot here, it was like 1,600 subs to get that extra emote sub. Um... How do I do the windmill? You'll see in a second. Uh, we've been at like 1,500. And we've been, uh, especially back when I was ripping Pokemon cards all the time in like 2020, 2021. We were at like 700 organic. It was like an insane, it was huge, gigantic number of people who were just subbing directly. Hey, what's up, Jenna? It is... This game fucking blows. <laughs> so it was like 700 plus like another 800 gifted on top of that. So you do 1,500 subs times, you know, two and a half dollars. Like that, that, that was unreal in my lifetime. I was like, this is the most money I've ever made from content month to month. It's humongous. Just gigantic numbers. Um... Huge and close. It is huge. What are you? What are you talking about? It huge and close. That is huge. That's it. I I implore you to try to stream and get subs. It's a fucking terrible grind. Um. I still blame you for my Pokemon card addiction. Um, Alicia, I'm so sorry. Uh, Morgan and I are starting up the Pokemon card opening streams again. We did one last Sunday. So you'll you'll see more of those. Uh, anyway, I used to have a partner rep here at Twitch. I used to be big enough to have a partner rep. And I was talking to them. And I was like, hey! Uh, and, and this was back when I had, I think, probably the, when I noticed, I was like, oh, wow, holy shit, we're at like 400 organic. And I was like, um, 400 should be enough to hit the... I've heard from other people, that's enough because that's $1,000 organic to get the 70-30 split, right? And they were like, oh, yeah, 400 organic. That was the old sub count. No, 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 no. No, sorry. We've, we've actually bumped that up. So if you can get to, like, 500, uh, then maybe we can renegotiate and talk. And I was like, okay. Sure, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll just keep doing my thing. That's fine. That's understandable. At least you guys are being upfront about this. Got to 500 organic. Got to 600 organic. Got to 700 organic every single time. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, no, no, sorry. Uh, the parameter, it's actually... Those are special contracts that we only hand out to, like, the top 0.001%. You're the top point like four percent right now, but you're you're not in the top, like, 0.001%. So I'm pissed off because I would have made that the current now public. Now that it's public, everyone can hold them accountable, right? But the, these stories are across the board. I have so many friends who have shared these stories where they're like, yeah, I never was offered 70-30 when I had, like, 800 organic. Ah! It's fucking... I'm glad that it's public now. I'm. This is a good thing that it's public now. Arcane, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in. How was your stream? What were you up to? 
Thank you so much for joining. We are playing the worst game that's been made in the past, like, uh, six months. <laughs> I was never offered 70-30 when I had 800 organic. Right, yeah, it's, isn't that weird, Mika? Like, I, I know uh, many, many people. I, I've had talks, open talks with them about this stuff. Um, so now they at least can't move the goalpost. Like, they can. They can do whatever the fuck they want. This is why you don't trust platforms. You, you know, support the, the creators, but you don't trust the platform not to pull the rug out from under your feet because they're going to make moves that are good for their money you know i think that this is a good start i think that twitch execs like i got to i got to meet dan the dan clancy the ceo of uh twitch when i was in toronto he was really nice he's a really nice guy i think that him being boots on the ground is maybe a good start him actually being willing to be in meetings is a good start because Emmett Shear, the previous CEO, w was so far up his own asshole, he, I think he forgot sometimes even own Twitch. So I'm hoping, 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 fingers crossed. Oh yeah, I mean, Daybreak, that's every platform though. YouTube plays favorites, Twitch plays favorites, everyone does. Is it very rage inducing? Yeah, Arcane it is. Um, the problem is they're still controlled by Amazon. You're, you're pointing to the most obvious issue. So what are you going to do about it, though? We can't do anything about it, so as long as we're here, we play by... What the fuck was that collision detection? Okay, we at least made it to the bed. We're good. We made it to the bed. We're okay. We made it to the bed. We're okay. Um, there, there's not much I can do about it. I can bitch about the platform I'm on, but I can't change the platform I'm on. There's other people, though, fighting right now to change the platform that we're on. And that's, you know, our bed safe spots? No. They're this, though. Isn't that fun? Uh, the problem is, I don't know where to go from here. Maybe to the skyscraper? Chat, do you think we can make this? Probably not. Nope, 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 no, 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 no. I don't think I could get back up to the windmill. Yeah, there's no saves in this game. There's no checkpoints. And also the game... Um, does not allow you to save anything. So, none of my progress matters, Mika. Here we go. Um, if I quit the game right now, I have to start from the beginning next time I boot this up. Isn't that an amazing game design? Isn't that just the funniest, silly thing? Is not the game for me. Yeah, isn't this, isn't this a great con- This is- a, I told chat, the- literally the only reason I'm playing this instead of a horror game tonight- is because this is the content game of the week, and everyone's gonna forget about it by the end of the week. But I had to, we just did Jump King the other day here, I had to give this a try, right? It's like getting over it, but worse. It's like getting over it if Bennett Foddy didn't know how to code, narrate, or score a game. Last time I played something like this, I, I just didn't close the game and left my PC on. Jump King is that game for me. I, I hate that game so much. This game is scarier than a horror game? It is. Anyway, that, so the subsplit thing, I hope that clarified some stuff for people. Um, like I said, I, I hope it's just the start. I hope that um, in September we're surprised. I hope that uh, they start fixing something. How far are you in the game? I literally have no idea. I, I know so little about this. I went in knowing so very little. I actually do not know how far we are. Someone said there's a giant lady, though. When the people shall have nothing more to eat, they will eat the rich. Someday. That's the hope, right? There we go. That wasn't so hard, now was it, chat? That wasn't so hard. Alright. Farthest I've ever been. We're climbing on power lines, which seems really, really healthy and safe and absolutely something you should totally do as a person. I like that they had that little troll spot you could fall through. You weren't paying attention. Ooh! Anime music! Okay, wait, wait, wait. I gotta think of an anime scene. When I left the village, it wasn't because I felt alone. I felt like too many people too many eyes, too many words were directed at me. I had to go out and find myself. There we go. You already have four types of tetanus from the fight. That's true. 
This kid definitely did not get a tetanus shot by the way he's speaking. You think that uh, the rich tastes like Wagyu and sparkling water? I hope so. I had my first Wagyu steak um, for my 10-year YouTube anniversary celebration with Morgan. And it was so fucking good. Or... Wait, no, not 10 years. No, that was for our 15-year anniversary. <laughs> I'm misquoting my own life. <laughs> it was really good. Really, really good. Nella Moon, yeah, I heard, heard the same thing from others. What, the anime thing I did? Heard that? Wow, they're stealing my content. <laughs> you mean you mean about the, the sub-split stuff? Yeah, it's a bummer to have been a partner as long as I have and also someone who was up in the, like, the top 0.1% for a while. Guys, I was doxxed on that list of, like, top earners on Twitch. Come on. That was fucking insane. <laughs> you ever just lie? Like, all the time, actually. That's my job as a content creator. It's the only thing I do. Ooh, gas prices are not looking good, guys. What is Joe Biden doing? Really gonna make me vote for Joe Biden. Joe, Joe, Joe. Joe, come on, man. Those prices. That's the future. <laughs> Isn't Wagyu the most expensive steak? Yes, it is. Because it only comes from a very specific type of cow in a very specific re region. And I, I was a skeptic, I won't lie. And then I tried it and I was like, uh, yeah, I know I just spent $70 on this steak. But holy fuck, I'd do it again. It was... Amazing. <laughs> oh! Ah! Okay, there you go. No, 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 you're good. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, my favorite credit cards to use. Viva. Murano. QCAN card. <laughs> what's QCAN? Wait, what's QCAN card supposed to be? This is a MasterCard symbol. What is QCAN card? <laughs> it's my main. <laughs> Wait, the Illuminati own this. Oh my god, guys. Holy shit. Oh my god, it's 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 fucking Dr. Manhattan and the Illuminati combined to make a gas station. I tire of the earth. These humans. Good old QCAN card, yeah. You guys could have a credit limit today of 100 QCANs. Bill Cypher? Yeah, it kind of looked like Bill Cypher. 9969 Noise? Oh, yeah, that's true. Great job, game dev. Listen, this, again, I'm pretty sure this was made by some, like, weird-ass Korean dev team no one's ever heard of. Koreans fucking love weird uh, innuendo humor and, like, poop humor and shit. Oh, wait, 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 okay. I know you had your reasons for leaving, but have you ever thought about all the people you've left behind? Those of us who didn't judge you. Those of us who wanted you to spread your wings while you were in the village still. It's been so hard to walk by your empty home, knowing the future that we could have had, but you just didn't care. All right, there you go. Can someone give me their QCAN card number? Need to buy some stuff. <laughs> Add this to the voice acting reel. <laughs> yeah, can you guys give me your, your mom's QCAN card number and the uh, three wacky digits on the back for this stream? And then get me to 350 organic subs. Let's go, baby. That one hurted. <laughs> um, why did we just glitch through the cab of that. I gotta stop asking questions about this game. For a second, I thought this... Ah! Okay, we're done with the game. 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 I thought that uh, truck was wearing a hat. I thought, I thought that truck was wearing a hat. And he's fine. Just like... Uh, you guys. Oh, guys, we have the stock cafe music from... The Kevin McLeod website on here. My heart just broke. 
Did I play this for less than two hours? Can I refund this on Steam? Nope. <laughs> hey guys! Welcome to my Sometimes vlog! Sometimes it's hard to choose the right path, but don't be afraid. You can always repeat. We or I'll just let them mistakes. vlog. That's fine. <laughs> the bean soup. You win! Ah. <sighs> Make a podcast. <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this game while it lasted and like the anime. Maybe. <laughs> Wait. I haven't. I haven't been able to interact with a single person in this entire game this whole time. It doesn't let you pet the dog. It doesn't let you talk to the people. Why could I do that? <laughs> it's not right. Climb your friends like a fucking tree. Yeah. Why did that happen? Why can you do this? Stop. Don't give me this power. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, you guys said this took place in Brazil? Brazil. Soccer is number one. Or I guess football. Football. Number one. You could suck at this game. Wait, why did I go through the fence? You guys suck at this game. Watch me. The <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Stop. This is my special anime move. Spin kick special. Oh, you got I, I had to put more spin on it. Level two. Oh, level, level three. It confused the goalie. Fuck. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to be a sports anime. I hate how they don't move at all. Oh, God. Mika, you missed the... Uh, wait, I, I got to show you this. You specifically and anyone else. Who got in here late. Why does this game... I think it's just because of all the assets on the ground here. But, like, it runs, like, absolute dookie down here on the ground compared to up above. How much does this cost? Like, eight bucks, fortunately. I mean, like, like what? Eight resubs or, or, and subs this stream? That, that was worth. That was an investment. <laughs> it's my business side coming out. <laughs> Making my friends are trees. Climb your friends. Who is the best bottom? Pre-order today. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, so these... This fucking sucks. Mika, I know you watched the horror movie Smile. Are you ready for only up version of Smile? So that's in there. For all I know, this, this little girl is eating the side of her cheek. Yeah, so that's that's a thing. And then a little bit higher up. Here's Frida backwards for some reason. This is $6.99 backwards. Um, punk rock Frida, though. <laughs> Freddie Mercury is also uh, somewhere around here. Oh, God. I forgot this is the area that cues the music. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> no! <laughs> stop! 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 Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I can't do this. I'm, I'm gonna barf. I can't. Sometimes it's hard to Stop! Shut up! Path. I'm gonna barf. Don't be afraid. You can always repeat. You I'm, I'm gonna puke. Mistakes. This is too funny. The first time this happened, I almost threw up so hard. That's so funny. Why is it coded that way? Why is it th this? Stop! Stop! Oh my god. Stop it! One billion hello, hi. Guys, guys on an on a actual note, I feel so jazzy. I'm just saying, this game, I, I did psychedelics in college, right? This game, I'm assuming was made by fully sober Korean Sometimes people. Maybe maybe a little right bit drunk, because that's what they don't do. don't be afraid. You can always repeat. Thanks. We learn from our mistakes. I, I love the TikTok TTS voice also. Thank you for the thousand bits again, chat. Um, I, I did not see shit like this when I was doing psychedelics in college. Are we in a medicine commercial? <laughs> 
There's just a lot happening in this. Okay, this is the other person I have to show everyone. You guys hate that they don't move? What 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 in God's great glory is fucking happening here? Why is she about to step off the side? She's about to die. She's so happy about it. Side effects may include neurodivergency. Push her off. Oh, yeah. To avoid the horror movie. This is where you stop it. Oh, my God. You can climb this one. <laughs> There's a toilet up here. That's normal. iPad kid is just hanging out here playing Subway Surfers. Deserves to see the consequences of her actions. That's true. Uh, like, how else would she learn? Use her like a diving board? You mean you don't see the micro Microsoft Pipe screensaver when you're high? Well, I, I did actually see that once. Push her, push her. I'm trying, chat. I'm trying. This is what all my training has come down to. Oh, no. The consequences of my actions. Stop with the music. <laughs> it's, a, it's like they played Bennett Foddy and they were like, oh, every time you fall, Bennett Foddy says, like, some ridiculous shit to you, right? Let's, let's just do that with, like, stock music from, like, Epidemic sound. Like, what? Not even. It's just so Sometimes much. Sometimes it's hard to choose the right path, but don't be afraid. You can always the, repeat. The right path is not playing this mistakes. game. Caleb, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in. This music and then the monologue after is something they would play you at a doctor's office. Yeah. There's still social distancing in the game. Um, Caleb, hello. Hi, how is your stream? Did you fall? I fell... From, uh, we were a bit past the windmill, um, on, like, the power cable area. With, with the big, like, Mack trucks. How was your stream? What were you up to? Thank you so much for the raid. Hello, raiders, if you're new here. Uh, hi, my name is Brian, a.k.a. Gerbigly. I can't even say my own username because I'm so flustered by this damn game. You can kind of see the uphouse from here, chat. Interesting. They actually, like, <laughs> they, that is the uphouse. Um... I'm, I'm a Korean-American full-time Twitch partner, YouTuber, and voice actor. I do everything from AAA games down to indies. I open up Pokemon cards. I do some voice acting. You name it. Um, I've just uh, become a strange little cockroach on the internet, surviving somehow over the years. Um, but hello, hi. Welcome. Uh, I want to play so bad. We did Apex Customs and Valo. Nice. During a tip-thon. Hell yeah. I can see my house from here. I can see my house from here. Freaking uh, Warcraft. I was so glad I got to talk to Chris Mel about old school RTS games the other night when we were playing Fortnite. It was sick. Um, welcome on in, though, our favorite cockroach. Little creature gang just scurrying around. Yeah, exactly. We're just weird little guys here. Uh, if you're brand new, welcome. Please read the rules so you don't get timed out by me, a modern nightbot. We'd hate to have that happen. Um, if you follow, thank you so much for supporting our, our funny little community. If you don't, um, I get it. It's the internet. You're not going to vibe with everybody's energy. There's, like, literally thousands of people streaming right now. So, please, you know, go find a streamer you like more. That's okay. I'm not going to take that personally. I got a lot of good people here, you know? But, welcome. Um, if you if you don't know the, about this game, uh, this is dog shit. It's horse shit. It was made by some mysterious South Korean <laughs> game dev. You have this going uh, every now and then. You just hear music trigger for f some fun reason. There's also some weird trauma lore in this. Uh, they just randomly trauma dump about their family trauma. Then their narration, because they didn't want to hire voice actors, is done by TTS voice, which is really funny. Um, you can't get away from this music, which is really great. Also, the sound slider, which is really fun, is all on one slider. There's not a separate music and voice one or sound effects one. It's just all on one guy. Um, so you really can't do too much about that. Uh, Sometimes all the, it's hard to all the assets the are... But don't be afraid. You can always repeat. We learn from our mistakes. That, that's the TTS voice for you. Um, all the assets are stock Unity assets or stolen from other things, such as uh, Disney's Up. There's literally the Disney Up house up there, and I'm, I guarantee... I guarantee from the quality of this game, they totally got permission from Disney. Who is here? It's me. It's me. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait, 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 
Yo, Kayla, please take care. Thank you so much for being here. There's backwards words randomly for some reason. I just did a military role chat. I was going to try to teabag because I was like, I'm a structured Sometimes gamer. It's hard to choose the right path. But don't be if you double tap, you, you do a roll. It didn't even teach me that in the tutorial. Mistakes. Oh my god, why, why, why would you ever need this? Why would you ever use that? Oh, boy! <laughs> Wait, okay, hold, hold up, hold up for a second. <laughs> I can, I can jump from here. Nothing happens. But if I roll into, like, a wall? I ragdoll? Wait, do it again, dude. Why, why did that happen? Sometimes it's oh, God, I hope you guys got a lot of clips out of tonight's stream. You can always repeat. We learn from our mistakes. Your power is incredible, I know. Um... I hope you guys got a lot of clips. It was fun. Would you like to actually, genuinely, if, if you want to see this again, Gerb Chaos in the chat. If you don't, uh, Gerb, uh, sad. In the chat. <laughs> I need to know the consensus from those actively watching. That, that is, that is, uh, how this is going to go. <laughs> of course the first, like, seven are Gerb Chaos. Oh my god. Do we have any curb sads? Chat chooses suffering. Oh god, I guess I did spend like eight or nine dollars on this. I'm indifferent. <laughs> I'm honestly for both. Oh god. You're only gonna get chaos. Yeah, but you guys like, I, I, there's like a bunch of story games we're doing right now. Is that not interesting to people? <laughs> you wanna see this? Wait, I can military roll in the, in the air! Oh my god, he's a god. Okay, that was that was very normal. But all right, I gotta get out of this or I'm gonna puke. All right, maybe we play this again. You guys want to watch some uh, bad lip readings and then then we clock out for the day? It's a good day of work today. <laughs> oh my god, it's Jason Bourne. Perfection, it's great. The menu screen, I know. It just, it's just all Unity stock assets. It's wild what they got away with with this. It's all, like, open source shit. I'll watch whatever you stream. Oh, God, that's bad, though. Don't empower me this way. It, you just watch this stream. I'm an idiot, clearly. I don't respect your time. All right, we're doing... Um <laughs> Old man yell is amazing. <laughs> Alright, Seagulls Stop It Now is the number one. If you guys don't know this channel, this was an old, old school YouTube channel. They were around, like, around when I started. Um, and they basically just take footage from other sources and dub over funny things or songs. Uh, and so... Yeah, the bad lip reading intro sound. I know it's iconic. Um, so if you've never seen this, it's actually just goofy. It's just a silly way to wind down for the night. Thanks to everyone who was here tonight, by the way. I hope you had fun. At the ancient times, it is. Look, I know I'm an idiot, but you sir figured out how to keep the keys jingling loud enough to get stop. You're not an idiot. You're you're questionable for watching me. It's been so long since I watched these videos. They're great. They're just fantastic. I, I hope people like them. I hope they hold up. I hope they're good. I don't want to block it. Um, why is my browser source not capturing? Why does it do this to me so often? There we go. Y'all ready for a masterpiece? That was, that was kind of loud. I think it will be okay. Wait. But we need, uh, oh, no closed captioning because it's so old, chat. Fuck. Penny for your thoughts. Penny for your thoughts. I hate Brenda, and a bad guy hit me in the shin, and I peed all on my pants. There's <laughs> nothing a little music can't help. Chat, if you got a, if you got a wiggle emote, if you got a, uh, drop it in the chat. 
If you got, if you don't, we have uh, better TTV with Rainbow Police. Cactus, absolutely. Lord Marquis, I mean, it's great. Need to show my dad that? Oh my god, he'll, he'll love it. Stop it, please. Oh, poor R2. This is R, isn't it? This was early YouTube. Come on, man. Not like early Stone Age YouTube, but it was early, like, when YouTube started finding its groove. Mega viral. This was their most popular one. Right, be careful of the seagulls. Seeing Yoda just reminds me. Last night I was trying to watch Jordan uh, play the new Fears of Layers of Fear. And is is that like a sound? Is that one of his sound alerts? The like Yoda like. Yeah, oh. Whatever. You're sort of pitchy. You're sort of pitchy. Didn't like it. Listen, man, I'm not your friend. Mm, don't fall asleep. <laughs> don't fall asleep. Don't fall asleep, chat. Don't do it. Here, Link. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in. What were you up to? Anyway, that is uh, that is um, bad lip reading. If you guys missed that back in the day. Um, there's so many of these too, by the way, and it looks like they're still making them. Allegedly, so the reason the music is so catchy is the person who runs this page. Uh, I don't know if they've they've um since like revealed who they are or anything, or people figured it out, but they allegedly like work in the music industry. So like their day job is making music. So kind kind of amazing. That one has 143 million views from six years ago. Bushes of Love is really good. That's that's a uh, seven. Oh, here we go. Okay, the, this Twilight one is amazing. He likes playing horror games with videos in the background of one hour of silence randomly interrupted by insert here. You had a dying and oh, and Taco Taco Bell Bong are the two favorites. Got it. That reminds me, Jerma used to do that way back in the day, where he tried to play not quite the same. It was more of like a challenge to himself, where he'd try to play games. Uh, while the sound of people screaming and farting was playing in the background, it would be like the one hour like screaming and farting compilation. So that's very that's that's hilarious. Okay, um, this one it's two a.m. Thank you, Brookie. This one's really this is one this is the one that Morgan and I quote to each other pretty much weekly. This has never left our brain. Wait, how old is this though? Ten years old, forty-one milli. 
Timing on random sounds so good, yeah. Okay. <sighs> Mouses have wee wees <laughs> and two eyes. Dude, don't spit. Okay. <laughs> really? You know, I spit on my brother. Yeah, cry, uh, Carl Papa is what I, I was talking about. I love it. It's my favorite one. Yeah, that whole uh, brother thing. I mean... <gasps> no. What? Uh, Morgan loves gross. this. That's why she's in chat. Mm, gross. He's we say that a lot. So. Okay. Kevin. <laughs> gross. How can he be that stupid? No. You're a dork. You're psychotic. And you want to do that interview? I don't want to talk. Wednesday? Tuesday? Dude. <laughs> you slapped a fish. <laughs> Punched it. Why would you hit it? I want to make some seafood. <laughs> That's so... Oh yeah, Morgan, loserly. the Game of Thrones one. It's so good. Oh, you're so loserly. What'd you have for dinner? Just leftover piece of cake. Cake? <laughs> <laughs> wow. How dare you? <laughs> Did you finish it? <laughs> Jordan, hey, what's up? <laughs> This is a secret so, deleted scene. That cake's my most bestest creation. Why'd you eat it? <laughs> the cake's my most bestest creation. Just one piece. <laughs> yeah, Jenna, incredibly canon event. Ever seen a girl's tongue? <laughs> God, yeah, this it's part. wet. It smells so bad. <laughs> it's true. It's just stupid. Oh. Not if she eats cheese or an egg. <laughs> Enough said. <laughs> so, like, all the background music and, and, and everything is made by by the creator of the show because. They, Where's the Chinese food? Uh, because they are literally in uh, in the music industry. Wow! Look at like look at what was fucking going on in the world ten years ago. We got Coldplay, Michael Bublé. Uh, Mitt Romney bad lip reading. Miley Cyrus. Like. Kind of wild. Right? Kind of wild. Hi, Weedleys. <laughs> you have to show the fake uh, trailer Game of Thrones. Yeah. Um, so, okay. Carl Papa is going to happen. Medieval Land Fun Time World is one of my favorite things that's ever happened on the internet. 29 million views from nine years ago. Um, Game of Thrones was like, you know, in its like heyday, um, they made it into like a Judd Apatow style comedy movie trailer. This, this is fucking insane. I love this shit. This is so good. This is probably, this one's probably in my top three. Wait, anyway, you can turn these captions off by clicking. No, we want captions. Ah, finally, accessibility. Here we go. There's more twice. Yeah, they did all the movies. Very popular. Okay, people, we got one week until the park opens, all right? So let's run through it all again. This time, please, don't forget your accents. Get off my case. It's hot in this get up, you chowd. I've got seven days to get this place ready. And if I don't make it work, I'm right back to the finger painting college. My junk is numb! <laughs> uh, uh, I beat my tongue! Someone get the Filipino employee back on that horse! <laughs> this place could become the best medieval theme park in the world. The only problem is that a lot of the employees here work about as hard as a bucket of apples. Bobby B. Gay Santa, what up? <laughs> it's beer and a ton of powdered donuts. <laughs> it's powerful, yeah! Powdered sugar! <laughs> I like to get freaky. Get what I mean? I can see your crack. Don't look at me. I bet your crack went out with your face. Do you know what that even means? It means you're pathetic. Sugar! Ooh. 
I hate that kid. <laughs> Throw these poops on me! I yell that all the time, by the Listen, way. Listen, son, I give you four cents each for them vanilla wafers. You can eat sand, young man. I mean, this guy's really ridiculous. Oh! Uh oh <laughs> Hey, girl, how you been? Face lick. Ooh, girl, you taste real good. Are you a fan of the Pikachu? Uh, anyway, she definitely gets a huzzah. Dude, that's Denise. Last night, we met this cool guy, and he was black. And then we went to the Firebug's house. And I was so good. The Beth over drinks. Is that right? Totally. I mean, she doesn't just sip it. She gets trashed and unrolls my socks. But <laughs> it I was read short in this dope. one. dope. Yeah, for shiz. Hey, man, hey, listen. Man, I don't know if I'm able to talk to you if you got a stink booty. Kind sir, I'm the evil stud muffin. Really? <laughs> you bet. I got girls in my dreams. How do you feel about people who go hot dookin? <laughs> hey, let's dance to music. That's my jam, Holmes. I've always wanted to work at a Renaissance fair, Mr. Eddie. Dang it, P, don't ever call it a Renaissance fair, all right? <laughs> do you trust toothpaste? Yeah, I think it's all right. Go have your butt checked. No, no thanks. Psych. I bet you were a <laughs> vaguely hot woman back in your day. <laughs> You've been busy? Jimmy was I'm working on a gravity belt. Hey, Jimmy, how's it going, all right? Today, I had a cheesesteak. Then I got a Walkman. Like a fancy Walkman? Kind of. I mean, anyone who puts a slice of pizza on bread is a Pukache Pukache. That's Aztec for Lazy Farmer. I looked on Wikipedia. Cool stuff. <laughs> now I'm gonna touch you. <laughs> Do you want to hear your dad sing to you? Cause you know, I groove to Kanye's new stuff. Look, Petey, I just wanna comfort you. A nice massage and everything, okay? No, thank you, I but, don't. Uh, I mean, I just don't. Bazooba, bazooba, zuzuba, but that's what it sounds like you're saying right now. It's edited so, like this, this is how these movies work. Darth Vader is bad, <laughs> and his assistant is a mouse. And he used the force to fix all his cats. Uh, yes, yes, it did. In the basement, <laughs> I hid some tube socks. And that was just crazy. Who hides dumb tube socks? Old Viking dudes. Tell me how you found the kitten meat. What does that mean? The kitten meat I put in my burgers everybody just ate? <laughs> what? What? They're just baby cats. Jeez. Um, did that just happen? I'm not feeling good. Because we should have not eaten kitten meat. Poor baby. <laughs> you need a song. Little bunny bunny. You're so pretty and cute and you precious to me. It's not doing much good. You dress ratchet. You're so mean. You're so mean. Well, you're a big toot. Well, you jerk. At least I never kissed Johnny Shotsman. Uh, he was a Capricorn. <laughs> Your dog is blue and it stinks. Oh, come on. Now I ask you a question. You think they should make iPhones for babies? Because I do. <laughs> so, so, the, so the creator of the channel made this song, and it just sounds like... Stan's got no ketchup. <laughs> he was a Capricorn. I, I quote that all the time. Jazz hand. We should start with it. Okay, that's it. But no. He was a Capricorn. <laughs> winter is coming. Coming this winter. But anyway, uh, very indicative of the times. Because movies like that were being unironically made. But the editing that went in there, oh my god, fucking insane. So good. Absolutely nuts. Lord Martini, I'm glad that you had a great time. Thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, this song is fucking so good. I'd watch the movie, right? I kind of wish they made like a full length one. It was beautiful. Um, so, Carl Papa is amazing. Um... Also, the other one that I really want to show is it's <laughs> Eric getting Zuckerberg. Uh, the High School Musical one's very good as well. Um, 
One of the one of the Hunger Games ones is just so fucking solid. It's wild. Choo Choo Go, yeah, that one. It went so good. Was that was that up here? Did I go past that? Choo Choo Go. That's just the the movie. Oh, Redneck Avengers. I also always quote Redneck Avengers. Yep. Um. Oh, here it is. Okay. We'll do that one first because it's short, and then we can end on Carl Papa. You're on Carl Papa Talk? Wait, there's a, a TikTok? I guess there's a TikTok for everything. Carl Papa Talk. Amazing. This song is uh, also very catchy, though. By the way, uh, if you guys don't know, this Saturday, Team Neat Dude, Hunger Games, Hungry Games number two. With all new teams, we got re-rolled, so I will not be with Bo Boozin again, my District 8 guy. Um, I don't think I can reveal who's on my team yet. I did give a little bit of a hint. Uh, this is someone that I more recently met, but she's someone that I would protect with my life because she's fantastic. Um, is my current uh, upcoming partner for uh, District 4 is what we are. And if you're following me on Fan House, you got to see the drip that me and my teammate will be wearing this Saturday. Yep, this Saturday, Fallen, uh, will be Hungry Games, number two. Very excited. Uh, so that, I was just reminded because Hunger Games. And you guys can donate to Rainbow Railroad, uh, an LGBTQ plus uh, organization that works with legislature, that works with... Um, Emergency resources, especially for, like, LGBTQ plus youth, uh, educational resources, etc. All those are available because of organizations like Rainbow Railroad. Um, so you can donate directly to help out the tributes of choice. So if you want to uh, have someone get a gift because we're going to be playing on, like, ultra hardcore mode, we can't heal from food. You can only heal from potions, like health potions, by crafting them or finding them. So if you want to drop a little Hunger Games package umbrella down to one of us restore our health something you can do by also uh supporting a great lgbtq plus cause during pride month so there's my little plug enjoy the music yeah, okay um we wrote this song on the train it's called choo choo go yep yeah, choo choo go start the groove The editing is so good. <laughs> well, now you know your grandma found the wigs. Your family gives you tumors every year. We're crazy for loving, crazy for cats. Get up, shorty. Yeah, you can find me on the floor tripping kids. Nova King is your friend. Get up, shorty. Foot crust. My arches were scaly. Foot crust. Dude, they get it. Cry, baby, right before you drown. Yeah, oh, oh, get down. Try a nothing drop. Yeah. Uh, uh, get down. <laughs> the feather, police baton's being used on the drums. I throughout my fresh eggs to help my friend Laverne feel popular instead of doing puppet things. I remember she liked the guy with the baby bird. I say, oh, 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 eh, eh, tune to go. No one hug a loogie in my cup. Yeah, this cool song. Got you dancing till dawn. Yeah, the shaker. Yeah, all, all the hands that they edited in. This was hours in After Effects, guaranteed. Yeah, this cool song. This old note in my creepy house. Like that Star Trek when they found those tribbles. I think I hurt my cooter bump. What? Ew. Why <laughs> is it funny when I poke you on the chin? I can't love him if he bought an album for my birthday at the dollar store. Musical reply. <laughs> Killed it. Come on. <laughs> oh, yeah, the floor, Wait, don't go into that room. Oh, 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 eh, eh, choo -choo go. Such an investment to create. Yep. Like Incredible. Oh, 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 eh, eh, choo -choo go. Raise your hand if you want us to leave. Oh, 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 eh, eh, choo -choo go. <laughs> Awkward. You guys suck. Who said that to my face? All evil. No, you're all just evil pillows. Evil pillows. Evil pillows. Uh, that's something I quote pretty regularly, uh, calling people evil. <laughs> calling people evil pillows. Brother, this guy stinks! 
<laughs> Chronic, perfect use of that. Uh, you can uh, listen to that on Spotify and iTunes. Uh, enjoy having that stuck in your head. Um, but not until we end the stream with a song. Yeah, Q Remastered uh, Halloween. I, I will return to that at some point. Don't you worry. That, that could be like a fun um, hydrated stream or something, probably. Carl Papa, uh, this song is going to get stuck in your head uh, forever, so uh, don't blame me. Blame the fact that whoever started this channel years ago, Q Remastered was so funny, I'm glad. Um, created this eight years ago to 33 million views. And is someone who makes the catchiest music of all time. This one does have subtitles. Nice. Okay. Here we go. It's important to be hydrated. True. Oh, it's oh, it's YouTube generated, so these are not going to be accurate. Wait, this is a lyric video. I just realized we, we don't even need them. Carl's got some fucking rhymes. That's all I'm gonna say. I heard the gingerbread boy, cause he's pretend bread boy. Little cookie man never waved to me, so he got knocked out because I flow. Little jiggy jar jar dude, dirt dirt dinner. Man, I just flow. Shoe shine. Cactus, yeah. That's what happens. Dance party chat. <laughs> yeah, chronic, seriously though. I threw a brick in the air. That shouldn't matter because the brick is just a brick. Dark days, darker nights. Found my way down a hall without a light because I flow. No jiggy jar jar dude, dirt 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 dinner. This whole thing where random dead people try to kill me's gotta go. They keep walking, walking my way if it's I'm so glad we added Rainbow, please. But also we got Rainbow Jordan in there. The slag, doesn't it? It's actually unironically good. Also, just the commitment to edit. <laughs> Block wisdom, French braid tabletop. If you mess with Carl Papa, uh, I'm coming at you like one, two. Walkers in the back of the club. I'm guessing it's a club where everyone dies. Oh, yeah, Papa's we got some uh, Nega Oryx emotes in there. I, I I hope I'm saying your username right. Uh, Jax, Jackson G? Hello. Thank you for the raid. J3? Oh, hey, thank you so much for the raid. How was your stream? What were you up to? We're watching bad lip reading videos. The number one bop. Playing League? Wow, you're a stronger person than me. I stopped playing that years ago.
Dude, it's so funky, right? The song, the beat. That's Carl Papa, chat, if you've never seen it. Hey, you best wise up. Call people Carl Papa. Fantastic. You cannot handle the flow, son. <laughs> Amazing. I'm coming at you like one, two, walkers. Uh, you can get the full length single on iTunes or Amazon today, chat. Amazing. Incredible stuff. Some good, <laughs> that's just, that's just some good content. Wait, they had, they did Hamilton 10 months ago? Oh, God. And Doom? Oh, Doont? <laughs> oh, my God. They did a BTS one? Wow. Finally, some good freaking food. <laughs> it's funny because we watched the uh, show up till that point i can't even remember what carl's yelling at rick about i think it's probably just about being like a terrible fucking father i'm gonna be honest um so that song if that's not stuck in your head we can watch more of these chat all right same voting system is oh normal boy, 3 <laughs> it is almost that time um you want to see more bad lip readings maybe you can mix some in uh hit me with the gerb chaos in the chat and if you don't a gerb sad. Do live polling. Is blaming him for what happened at the prisoner with the governor. Got it. Yeah, that was. I mean, that. That is a reason to be mad at. Your dad. That whole storyline. That's when I started like kind of losing interest because I was just like, it's the same storyline over and over again. Kind of not that great because there's some that I've never seen. This one's really good. Uh, this is two minutes. I'll do one more. Shadow Pico. Uh, this is uh, so. This was One Direction. So ten years ago, eight point one milli. So underrated classic, in my opinion. Um, where they took a One Direction music video and they made it into essentially a European horror movie, which is fun. Chaotic. Take care. Get some good sleep. Thank you so much for hanging out. Sound alert is perfect and made my heart happy. <laughs> I'm so glad that you enjoy those. We have a couple sound alert slots open. I'll, I might add some more stuff. All right. Last one of the night. Shadow Pico. I, I quote this to Morgan a lot. Yeah. They've I, captivated the world with their music. Now experience One Direction as you've never seen them before. In their first foreign language yeah, Brookie. motion picture. Dragon all ship on a lien lies in my four swish and zuzu slogan sweet sweet wong so ship bong let's sue for what put chase then wing far musa kamboche ego kwa lang tang kung pa long way in a world that tore them apart, only one thing could bring them back together. Shadow Pico! <laughs> Shadow Pico! Complantum <laughs> Pio Plazzo Ense. Les Azabe. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Chronic Wild. Halloween, no way. Shadow Pico. <laughs> <laughs> they look like babies, they were. Cactus, that's a cool find. Shadow Pico! Chat. I'll put a ball through your scab. I'll make you pay. What do you guys watch One Direction horror movie? Would you, would you watch Shadow Pico? Not my scab. 
Shada Pico. Chat, whenever you're feeling down, know that there's always some energy out in the universe from divine sources that could get you through. It's that energy that you foster with your bros. That shadow Pico. One more. No, it's like <laughs> it's like almost two thirty in the morning. I gotta go. Chad, this was a fun stream tonight. I hope people had fun. I hope you had a, a good old time. I enjoyed chilling, and by chilling, I mean um. <laughs> one more. One more stop. <laughs> we will do more. We'll do more in future streams. So there's some incentive to come back and watch more. <laughs> more, Papa, more. I'm not tired yet. <laughs> Always a good time. I'm so glad to hear that. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out. Uh, everyone, is 50 more? That See, that's the dangerous, slippery slope, Jacob, is you know the ADHD would c c click into overdrive and we would be here for 50 more. Um, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Give me one second. You are like Papa. Carl Papa. <laughs> that Monica under my shirt? Yeah, I was explaining earlier in the stream. It was weird. I went to the store, right, to buy some shirts. This is the only shirt that was there. It was just this Monica shirt. It was really weird. I don't know what happened to all the other uh, shirts that were there. But it was just a Monica shirt. Really odd. Um, we have to find the ADHD button. <laughs> uh, let me, uh, let me, let me send uh, some good. We're gonna raid over to. Yeah, isn't that so strange? One billion. Really odd. What other shirts? It's just Monica. Yeah, it was there. It, it was. It was only just Monica there. It was weird. Um, we're gonna raid. Julia is playing Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So we'll uh, we'll shoot you guys over that way. It would be great, even if you can't stick around for the entirety of her stream. Um, absolutely a wonderful energy that you guys should go say hi to at the very least. Uh, I think that Tears, yeah, exactly, Twilight. I think Tears of the Kingdom is like a good wind down game for sure. In your stream, I enjoyed the unhinged climbing and the nostalgic uh, bad lip reading cap. We have a good night. Thank you. Yeah, it was awesome hanging out with everybody. Um, let me let me get a raid message. So, oh, I, I know I know one. If you don't have the Gerb Maul the emote, by the way, you can use whatever angry emote you want instead. Wait 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 wait. This is good. This is a throwback to Among Us the other night. Can't express how much I love Tears of the Kingdom. I can't wait to eventually play it. Okay. There's the raid message. Please copy and paste. Um, she'll know what it means even if you don't chat. Tonight was great. A lot of fun. That swap was so funny. Oh my god. I, I, I rewatched the clip afterwards and I lost my mind. I watched it from Julia's point of view too. It was so funny. Um... Thanks to everyone who hung out tonight. This was a really fun stream. This was, like, very, very fun. I hope that everyone had a blast. Um, more like this, please. This was just a, this was just good vibes the whole time, all the way through. Not that you guys ever bring bad vibes. Just, like, I don't know. Tonight, it, it just clicked. Everything just clicked, right? Everything went smooth and, and well. I probably shouldn't have streamed this long because I just realized I had videos to edit uh, for the website that I, I do little Let's Plays for. But, <laughs> hey, these things happen. I'll do them tomorrow or something. I'll just be like, I, I got I, I got sick with uh, the the Coffingtons or something. Um, Still feel good even though you played a Rage game? Yeah, because this one wasn't anything compared to Jump King. I'd rather play this game for a 30-hour stream than play Jump King for 30 minutes. Um, I, I told you, this, this game was not going to make me tilt. It was not going to make me tilt, and it didn't make me tilt. I held my word. My word is binding. Beans, I buy again, yeah. Yeah, hey, stick around for a raid. We're raiding over to my friend Julia. She's great. 
Tell them you got bronchitis from a girl named One Billion Hugs. They'll believe you. Do you have bronchitis right now? One Billion? I'm sorry. I hope you feel better soon. It sucks. Yay, Julia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Join the party over on Julia's. All right, chat. Thanks so much for reviving. All of you are amazing. I had so much fun. Thanks for letting me be an anime character. Thank you so much for chilling. Let me just get things ready. All right, cool. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you for the follows, bit subs, resubs, gifted subs, donations. Anything that came through here tonight obviously helps me keep my lights on and a roof over my head, but especially with the recent financial situation. Um, hopefully ads aren't too disruptive to people. Thank you. Again, first time in 10 years I've ever done ads, uh, like run ads on a stream. It's just really wild. Um, so thank you for being understanding. Please know that this all goes towards, you know, everything going on. Like, genuinely means a lot. Uh, and then here and there, I'll I'll spend a little bit like I did for tonight, like an $8 game to for a, a future of chaos here on the channel so thank you very very much all of you are incredible for that um i hope you had fun i genuinely do uh thanks for lurking chatting no matter what you did you spent time here in the community and that means a lot to me i hope you all have an absolutely wonderful morning afternoon evening night whatever it may be for you you guys are the best in the world i love every single one of you so very much i really really do finger hearts as usual gonna go ahead and end the stream here i'll see you all again on thursday um i'm not 100 percent sure on what's going on there may be another collab lobby on thursday uh it might fall through because some people have other obligations and can't make it um but either way i'll let everyone know just keep up with me on twitter and the discord um thank you so so much like genuinely all of you are fantastic I'm gonna start the raid Please be very kind to my friend, Julia. She is a lovely person. Here we go. Here we go. Please stick around for this raid. Let's get number big. Big number. Big serotonin for friend. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, all of your beautiful, wonderful people. This was so fun. Can't wait to see you on Thursday again. Um, regardless of what happens, whether I'm solo or it's a collab, we're going to have a blast together. I just know it. Uh, I'll see you guys over there. Say hi to Julia. Be great. Be mindful. I know you all will be. See you around. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.